what, your wet bare feet slapping the hardwood? What the fuck? I'm gonna get Shane and Drupal. <laughs> I put it in his cap. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out so much better than I ever thought. I thought it was like caught in a shirt or something. I'm hoping you found I didn't that. Know about it. It. It, it, it 100% did. I did not know about that one. All right, well, welcome to podcast 29. <laughs> hey. We're back. I thought 29, it was 29. No, it's 29. I should don't know. Verify. Are we starting off with comments like it's we did? 29. Yeah. My phone's did. Someone give my me phone's some downstairs also. My phone's downstairs also. So the last podcast we did was 111 days ago. That's like a third of a year almost. Wow, man. Nice. Isn't <laughs> it? Good job, Rob. A little, a little less though. Um, so 111 days ago, it's at 20,000 views. Skr, skr. And demonetized. Um, what? <laughs> oh, we, didn't we, weren't we talking about COVID? Oh, no, it's because the title. <laughs> <There it goes. laughs> no. The title literally was "We probably have coronavirus." So I can't blame uh, them for demonetizing it, okay. but I, I blame them. It was informational. Party, um, party but every papers. other podcast had like 5k. That one's been at 20k for a while. Yeah. It's probably the same like 30 people just like refreshing it over oh, and over again. Right, I need comments. And we we on that 14k sub life though. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Sponsors G Fuel. And uh, hit a brother up and Twitch, uh, <laughs> Twitch and you know, <laughs> protein shakers. G- oh, what does a Jeep? I didn't see the Jeep. Fuel I never guess saw I it. rotated. Jeez, so I doesn't even know his own shaker. <laughs> My favorite comment okay. was Rob has chunky arms. What do you guys think? Chunky is that a good thing or a bad thing? Mm, think, oh, I can't see myself. Think, well, I guess I couldn't to begin with, but I'll Wait, take chunky. Prop up one of the mirrors. I don't oh, think, we definitely could. We definitely could with the old. Setup. I don't think I wore any sleeveless shirts. At your old place, though. You definitely, definitely did. did. There's your, all your entire wardrobe. Yeah, but we were filming in you're, like... You're telling me you went 28 episodes without a sleeveless shirt. I think I honestly did. I'm not even kidding. I'm going to load up the episode on my phone. And just see what happens. Just start going... Because episode 21 oh. was definitely sleeveless. T-shirt. I'm telling you, man, because we filmed all this shit in like, <laughs> between like what? September and like December. What's nope. the one we went to? March. Wait, wait. You started in March? Ended in March. Bro, this is like still, January still 2018. <laughs> What's the one we went uh, climbing after? You definitely were. Everyone. I, I changed. Uh, oh, like where he came with I think I changed like after 27 that one. 27 or 26. 25, 21, 24. 21. Some, somewhere, I remember I changed somewhere between into between 1 and 28. And mm-hmm. sometimes I would come from the gym and I'd be wearing gym shirts then. But I don't think I ever... I don't... I don't think I ever wore a sleeveless shirt once on the old pod. And that's you something, definitely That's did. something that I'll stick. I'll stand by. Hun OP, you did. We should put. Someone's gonna look it up. We yeah. should make a bet and carry on the. You don't don't bet with Drew. He's not gonna pay you. <laughs> you Man, did. this guy can't hold his betting terms correct. Wait, that's so, a really weird way to say. Nice. <laughs> What's the total debt that uh, you theoretically both owe each other? He, like, I owe contract. him nothing. Yeah, he owes. I was gonna say Christian owes Drew nothing. Drew I, owes I pay Christian up all my bets right away. Drew owes Christian. This guy changes the terms as he goes, though. Minimum twenty dollars. He's lost four bets since, and he's refused to pay all of them. I'll give you an even twenty. We'll call it cool. No. Yeah, U.S. Something's never cool. changed. That's my twenty. <laughs> <laughs> the ex- Found it on the ex- counter. Gets the exchange rate in. Yeah. Um. Okay, but what's new since last time? I don't time? know. One of the one of the comments Lots is like, rewatch this and now how wrong they were about COVID. And I feel like I need to go back and watch our podcast. What because you were an idiot about it. You yeah. were an idiot. No, we what were we all... even say it? I don't okay, remember. Okay, I, I, I didn't watch it back, but I remember we made the bets <laughs> where we said that we were wondering how long it would be until everything started opening back up. Which was oh, and I said yeah. I said May. Mm-hmm. And I, I was I right because everything summer. like phase two started. Okay. Or phase one, phase two. Like you, you can't, I can't walk into a restaurant. You're wrong. No, but we were just saying like until stuff opens. Patios it's are not open. open. I can't I, walk no, into a we restaurant. we were talking about normal. I can't walk into a gym. Patios no, we did because I remember explicitly. I was just like, no, I'm not saying like everything's gonna be perfectly normal again. Okay. I just I said think until we did things. Both. Until things mm. open, I can't walk into. I can't even walk into a fucking Dairy Queen. It's open yeah, there. Well, I saw a Dairy Queen open there. Yeah, day. you got to They got like, to, like a like, buzzer and you yeah, gotta yeah, sit yeah. there. They and have to like, buzz you in. It's like you're going on a prison visit just to get an ice cream cone. Yeah, but like when we were recording it, everything was just closed. You couldn't do anything. Wait, you could was maybe it? order online, I, but you couldn't actually go to locations. Wait, because Canada closed, what, March 16th, right? And also, like, all the stores were closed. You couldn't go into a store I at all. We, I don't think we were there yet, because we did podcasts, and as soon as things closed, we stopped podcasts. Yeah, we, we, we climbed after 28. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? We climbed after 28. Yeah, and then, like, two days later, everything was closed. But we yeah. were, like, we were expecting that. We knew you, it was coming. You know what's still pissing me off so much is the fact that we were a day off sushi. We're like on that yeah. Monday for podcast. We're like, yo, let's all go get sushi. And it just so happens the place was closed on Mondays. And, and then, then everything shut down Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So we were a day off. We could have had, oh, you can eat sushi the last possible day. Last yeah. supper. Not the last supper, place. yeah. Damn. I Because th- I remember, no, because 
if it were, if everything was closed, my mom wouldn't have let me go to the, do the <laughs> podcast. You know what I mean? That's why I'm judging. Exactly. Yeah, it, it closed like a day later. Mm-hmm. Okay. But we already knew it was coming. We were just waiting because I remember Shane was just like, oh, let's go rock climbing. And I was like, it's going to be closed. Like, there's no way it's going to be open. And it closed the next day. Yeah, because we were talking about going the next day as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. But I, I remember when we were making our bets, uh, Drew said everything would start opening in July or I think late I said June. End of summer. Or summer. Yeah, I said May. I don't, I don't even, remember, I don't what, remember what I said to be Rob honest. Rob wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> Rob was the, 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 aren't I technically right then? Stuff's like just going to stage. I like can't walk last... into a gym. Yeah. No, you're wrong. Like, what are we I'm saying? right than Christian. Isn't... He's like, oh, I was right you're, in May. There's no more are open. Right. You there's, can... no, there's no more right. You're wrong. He's wrong. There's no more right. You're all wrong. Say, you open. can go to stores. I can't walk into a gym. I can't walk into. That's mean shit. It's not open then. But there's also but an things argument. are open. We're our, our whole thing was when's everything going to start like opening what, up and go back opening. to normal. But what's our quantum? Also, are we saying like complete normalcy? So or we, just, didn't, we didn't. Say, no, we, we didn't, didn't say that because terms. I was just like, this is not going to be forever. But I remember being like, when's stuff going to like be open again? And well, we stuff we, is open. We we just because the, gym, just because assign, the gym's closed doesn't mean yeah. that everything's closed. We didn't. There's still a lot of. I'm just saying the gym because the first thing to mind. There's still a lot of things closed. Stuff's definitely gonna close down. Have you walked or like driven past the Toronto premium outlets lately? No, I haven't. A flood of cars. Like, or the, not the, a single parking spot open. The farmers Ew. market. Oh, really? It was packed on Saturday. Oof. No parking spots. Jeez. Mm-hmm. I haven't, been, I haven't gone hands. to any of these things, man. I, like the most I do is go to Zares, and I'm, I'm there for like and ten minutes. Whoa, 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 Rob, chill, man. You can't go to Zares. I need deodorant, bro. <laughs> I should. I could. I could tell this, this story. I this guess this guy goes through two sticks a day. Not even. Oh, I didn't have deodorant for almost two months because I didn't I didn't I ran out and I was just like you know I'm not really doing much I'm showering like almost Your twice per mom. day my whole family dude what I ended up doing yikes is I would take like baby powder and just splash it into my armpits and that would like get rid of like the <laughs> moistness for the day but baby powder it starts to smell like shit after like you start to sweat in it man that's what you'd have to toss on after like a, a solid cart ship. oh I know dude baby you powder just, down the pants and you, the get, armpits. you get the Ooh, gold gross. you get the gold bond and Dude, then, I'm all about the uh, the Johnson and Johnson stuff, man. It's a little really? softer. No, you gotta go Gold Bond. No, oh, Johnson Johnson. You can use it on baby. You can you, use it on me. You can get gold, <laughs> you can get gold Bond cream too. No, oh. you guys have way too much experience with this. You didn't Dude. do carts. Yeah, like, really. I would like dump like still weird Dude, like a right? handful of baby powder on my pants when I was the boys sweating. up top after a cart shift together. You just fucking baby power fight yeah literally yeah. it's like a yeah you like go into the the lunchroom compare just like toilet paper wads mm-hmm. <laughs> man ponds <Yeah. laughs> it's not just a you guys thing i don't think that's a normal I've, thing i probably rock like i had like oh. shifts where i put in like seven or eight man ponds so it was so sweaty bro because oh. like dude i won't actually i don't know how much detail I should go in about man ponds <laughs> you should this should is I, kind no. of like another hilarious comment which is just Rob, if there are any big giant companies out there listening that want to hire me in the future, also Rob, I played Fortnite for six hours a day for a week straight. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. I remember that week. Also, that was a good Rob. week. Well, I'm hired now, so oh, I guess that's new. Yeah. Bank account update and all that kind of shit. Ooh, I'm actually intrigued for this. I don't even want to say it anymore because it's like, like you got a job. It's actually respectable. Wait, you yeah. know, we already knew you had a job. You had a job at the end. Yeah. Did I get hired? That's not new. Wait, yeah, Mar- you you're, you said that you were oh like, oh, my, my bank God. account just reached uh, five digits. Yeah, because we were chatting Mar- about... And then you were like, I don't want to say how much it is. I'm like, that means it's obviously above 10,000. I, I completely forgot. So realistically, nothing else is new in your life. Then. I started streaming. Yeah, so well, nothing uh, else is not, new in your not, life. We're not plugging that shit here. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm trying to think. No, that was definitely... Oh. It was, I, I got hired March... Oh, actually, you no, did. March 16th. No, you talked about it because you mentioned how you... Got like, t- or you went to the interview. They didn't call you. Oh right, Drew handed over. Because we were <laughs> it's my toy. Nope. No. We because we, we were in a we were into you IKEA or something. Prime opportunity. Just quit screwing around. Literally. No. <laughs> Drew's ADD can't handle. No. That. Um, Give me that. Remember we were at, we were at IKEA when I got hired. Do you guys remember that? We were in your car. And yeah. I, like, I punched the roof. I was like, no, yeah. you didn't. You didn't get hired. No, because, that was the interview. Yeah, because you freaked out. And I was like, wait, so that was just for an interview? You're like, come on, man. Like, but don't bring me pod- down. In the podcast oh, itself, right, I was it like, is, yeah, how yeah. was the first shift? And you were like, oh, you know, without going into too, too, too much detail. And then you oh, gave right, your right, address. And then you oh, pretty okay, much yeah, gave probably. your... Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, and like, so ever since then, my job's been like, I don't, don't want to... Actually, I don't want to talk about it here just in case, but it's like, it's hot and cold. You know what I mean? We'll put, we'll yeah, put yeah. it that way. Yeah, I I'm forgot saying. that your boss listens to the podcast. Dude, you never know, man. Dude, I don't one know. Day. We got 14K subs in there. Yeah, one, one of them could be up. my boss. You know what I mean? 
or my it's, it's a job maybe, maybe my xbox job is but a job your xbox <laughs> True. yeah xbox i haven't mm-hmm. turned that on in a while though i feel dude. like you told that story on the podcast what the my xbox yeah or the one about my mm, your xbox x x like I'm, 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 now i'm just confused <laughs> at this point like boss or like box both well, like, I don't know if I would have told the story about my boss on the pod. Would I have? No, no you, maybe that's the one where your it. boss got fired. That okay, was well, st- I guess that, there it is. There's the story. <laughs> yeah, no, it was the stupidest fucking thing. We're playing Siege. And he's oh, just that's like, what it he's was. He's like, oh, I don't want to go into too much detail because, like, oh, I don't want to say too, anything. No, I was just recording. And then Docs is the no, guy. No, and then he says nothing. He's just like, yeah, so my boss was just like, oh, the other person got let go. But the and thing that was, was it. we were like, is there anything else? He's like, no, that's it. That's the no, story. No, it was like the third right. week into my job, and there's nice. this one guy who like, I really clicked with, you know, in a professional sense. Mm-hmm. He, he was helping me out a lot. He was kind of like a mentor type <laughs> role for me. In a professional sense, just makes me think it's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a disclaimer. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, he was like, he was really becoming like a mentorship role for me. Absolute beauty of a guy. He'd hit me up. Can't. Like, yeah, I guess. And then, like, I was like, man, it's like maybe this job is going to be pretty sick. Like, this guy's a beauty if I get to work with him all the time. Two, like, two days pass. And it's like, yeah. You know that guy that you're working with? Yeah, he's gone. I was like, fuck, bro. They literally you brought you in. He trained you for his job. He didn't know it at the time. And then they fired him. Like, come to think of it, it's like kind of what they did. But they did. Didn't you say you got fired for like embezzlement? I don't even know what it was. Like, I, I, see, that's, that's like how he let up. Bosses. That's how he let up the story where he's just like, "Oh, like it was so fucked. Everything happened." And he's like, "Yeah, they got like." Go. I heard. I've heard a few. <laughs> okay. Like, nice. I've, I've heard various forms of scuttlebutt from various people. You know, mm-hmm. scuttlebutt. You've been hanging out with boomers too much, man. Yeah, I know that's mm-hmm. a boomer word. Does but a like, bucks or <laughs> ducks <laughs> boner. Does, does a, a ducks boner trick seaweed? <laughs> That's not a boomer saying, dude. Hundred percent is. But um, it has to be. I was like, man, that's uh, it's definitely a zoomer one. That was just like a buzzkill, though. I was like, because now he's gone, and like the people I work with now are just like, they're all right. They're pretty. Most of them are pretty good. Just you know, just throwing that in there. But just they're not as nice as that guy. I hope I wish him the best Problem. if he's still listening to this. I, mean, I, th- I thought that same way about Mike. It's an awful story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, hey, I didn't want to tell it. I just got brought up. I had to. I had to execute it. But um, um, so what else is new? I don't know. Uh, you Drew, know. any new jobs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Drew, anything? Yeah. I guess technically. Yeah, you got a job. Yeah, I got a new you job. Got, Drew got his first real job. Yeah, hey, first full time job. Got, mm-hmm. got like benefits. I thought you worked at like that. It's I always considered cool. your old jobs real, but I guess they were what? Oh, this contracts? Is like his first, like, no, all the same company. They're all contracts. So oh. This is his first like adult job. I just clued into what you were yeah. doing, Shane, with the what's new type thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you we're, just clued in? Yeah, well, I thought it was like stretching his neck or something. <laughs> no. Like we're currently sitting no, in the. Man. We're on the. the we're, Carl, we're currently sitting the on the, the seventh floor of a yeah, fucking the seventh like floor of mansion. A, of a, oh, one of my brother's friends, who's like super rich, actually has a house with seven floors. Yeah, this is but seven like, floor house. But it's right because here. they're all like half staircases, so he has like the uh, living room on floor one, yeah, kitchen's yeah, yeah. like That's three steps up, three steps. So up. when you send pictures of this, you're like, this is a real seven floor yeah. house. The thing is, this <laughs> top floor is probably Humongous. the actual size of Shane's apartment. Oh, it's bigger. Which is nuts. So you have like four Shane's apartments. No, more. Definitely. You have more. like five Shane's apartments. Yeah. I think mine's like what? <laughs> yeah. 11, like 1,000, 1,100? Yeah. This, yeah. The this office is, like, is 1,400, and I think yes. the balcony is like an extra 600. <laughs> the office it's is 1,400. double the space up here. This guy, wait, the outside counts as living space? Or like square I'm footage? Just, I'm just saying, I'm, I know it's like 600 square feet. <laughs> he got the fucking protractor out. Does that mean it's almost a mansion no no you don't uh, count that space wait, was there's there a square foot amount that apparently qual- quantifies 8, 8, a thousand says who so says realtors that's why you want to get like get the basement done asap so you can say you live in a mansion it still doesn't count i would say you said you was eight thousand with the basement they, yeah people just don't count basement but like they're saying eight thousand square feet of just like the house without the basement mm-hmm. i don't know why basements just don't count that's silly. But what if you just have like a huge bungalow with a huge basement beneath it? It's just like not a mansion because the most of it's in the basement. Yeah. Well, if a, if a bungalow to start with, though, you'd be pretty pressed to convince anyone that's a mansion. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a really big bungalow. I don't know, man. I've seen some pretty nice bungalows. Yeah, but I'm, when I hear mansion, I think like Great Gatsby, like spiral staircases and shit. Those are like estates. Yeah, yeah, that's not a mansion. Those are like okay, a there's too much. T- too much real estate jargon being talked. You wanted to right become now. a real estate agent, didn't you? Wanted to become a property appraiser, not a real estate agent. <laughs> Man, I think it would be so sick if you just This had... is a really nice house. It's an estate. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so sick if you just had a property where you have a, a little shack and it's it's just very un like unassuming 
and under a rug you just have a hatch that opens this like huge, some James Bond sick shit. basement. Be Would so you cool. really want to live underground? I wouldn't care. Yeah, man. Yeah. Protected from flooding. You literally just put like TV screens or like computer screens behind like <laughs> flooding. Wouldn't it be like up, this? Going up? It'd be perfect. <laughs> The water would just go over. <laughs> yeah, true. You'd be good Jesus. for tornado. Yeah, I, man, if you just like meddled the whole thing in, you might be okay. But you'd be fucked if I've water ever got in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a submarine, though. It won't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just oh, live. In, just just <laughs> live in a submarine. Fuck it. For props. Are you guys gonna do that or what? That gives me anxiety. But um, <laughs> <laughs> that was like the most no. dead looking stare. <laughs> Anyway. Rob's having some like PTSD over Literally, here. Literally, I've, I've had too many of like when you're at the gym and you go like this or like. That's you called know. a turkey. Really? Yeah, hey, you go like, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I've had, I literally had one it, at the it gym. It looks like a turkey. <laughs> I guess it does. You go, you go in for a high five. It's turkey. I've had ones where it's like me and some guy are like going at each other and we're both going like doing like, like the whole like, you know, who's doing the fist? Who's doing, I mean, like one time I went like this and it's felt like that. Like literally end up with me grabbing sure this guy's fist. This great for the audio listeners. We were just going at it. No, he was doing the fist. You we were both approaching each other. Too. You go for the pro- snail. Never done that one before either. That's just white people. But shit. it's like, <laughs> literally it's like when you, I was literally like, I was fist first and he was open hand. Then we both switched and we both switched again. Then I ended up grabbing this guy's knuckles like this, dude. <laughs> and it was the weirdest fucking shit I've ever done. I was like, yo, I'm trying to crawl into a hole and never come out of it's here. Like when you go in for a handshake and somehow like mm. kind of miss and it's oh, yeah. awkward, but you got to go through. You just got to fall through. <laughs> you, get, you get like their three yeah, fingers. It's you're just like, weird. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just like, weird. Yeah. yeah. You just pretend it's normal. Have you guys ever had a really bad handshake at a job interview or anything? No, I'm no. Great handshake. No. I go in COVID. for the firm. firm yeah. I just Every go for the I, I have great elbow shakes now. I wonder if, like, dude, I wonder if we'll adopt <laughs> bowing. I think we talked about this last time. No. But, like, Is that why you got to- Yeah, that's why I'm wearing my Namaste shirt, because I thought we were going to practice bowing today. But got to make sure those nipples don't poke out. TOS? Oh, gosh. Yeah, but we can blur that. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. You expect me to go through and edit it? 100%. Yep. No. Oh. Now I'm gonna be worried about my nips up the whole time, bro. Maybe I feel like we've had. To the side. Here's the thing. I feel like we've had. That's deja vu right there. I feel like we've had that exact conversation on a podcast. But I'm saying I've yeah. never, I've never worn. In Rob's defense, sleeveless. I feel like we He's have that conversation ninety percent of the time. You hang out with him, period. So. <laughs> True. This guy's always keep your nipples in. Wearing bro. risque items. No, we had this conversation We're at as well. The when keg. We... He's just like Rob nips. Yeah, come, on. come on. When <laughs> when he built or when we built the PC. Because he wore oh, that right, and he kept yeah. wearing like... I think I wore the exact same oh. shirt. Oh, yeah, it was the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right, yeah. That's actually like bannable on Twitch. Rub your nipples out. But he was off stream when he was But doing girls it. can do it. You can't show any nipples, male or female. He's got them taped. We're good. What is, what is, it, about, what is it about sure. a nipple that you guys think is like so like derogatory? Like, what is Yours. it? I know, but I mean, like, it's a nipple, dude. Rob, we're trying to get monetized. For this. Like, yeah, yeah. I guess I shouldn't be talking about nipples, but still. It's just like one of those things, man. <laughs> I understand like the like the the <laughs> privacy aspect of it, but like a, dudes go to the beach without a shirt on. You know what I mean? I would stream shirtless if they let me. What? Are you at a beach? No. Then it doesn't fucking apply. But it's, 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 it's I, <laughs> what if he has a beach behind him on a green screen? Yes, that. And it's like if he's too poor to afford a green screen. If I'm what do you hot, mean? Hey, oh. oh no, I'm not too poor True. to afford a green screen. I bet. I could, wait, how much do they cost? <laughs> Over a thousand? Yeah. Yeah, it's whatever. I'll throw a couple of them on this Amazon cart and call it a day. A couple racks. <laughs> but um, no, if, 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 the minute I get hot, shirt's off. Like okay. wearing a shirt sucks for me, man. I literally hate it. And if Twitch was just, if Twitch like was like, yeah, dude streamers cannot wear a, sh- a shirt, then fuck it, man. Why not? Like, But also you, why? I don't know. Just like, you know, raw sex appeal first. Here's the thing. If, if this guy put <laughs> so a... You're literally proving their point. <laughs> What? What's wrong with well, it? Me, that they don't want no, like, not, sexual contact. And then you're like, I it's subjective, want raw sex appeal. Subjective versus objective. Like, <laughs> we're talking about me specifically here without a shirt on. Not okay. like the general public without a shirt on. So are you saying that you should have a special pass because of how you look? Ooh. Oh, no. Yes, I am. You're on a slippery slope, my man. Oh, no. I want privileges that you nobody else like has. you like body positivity? Yeah. Well, I see. I want to be... Oh, God. Well, no. Uh, <laughs> I want to I be, be an inspiration. Okay. Start working out, eating healthy. Well, I'm going to be honest. This isn't helping that. Well, I'm going to tell you guys right now. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. The facial hair is not helping it at all. Yeah, I know. I got to shave the neck. I'm leaving the mustache for next time, <laughs> That's though. That's so awful. But, oh, dude, I'm telling God. you. You eat healthy. Okay. You work out. Mm-hmm. And you just like you just turn to a Greek god, and like that's basically all that, all that is to it. <laughs> Alexios. Um, the also, Romans had it so well. Yeah. <laughs> like, a Greek god's like, everything for you is amazing, then. 
Well, I guess some of them are, are like show of hands of girlfriends or Okay, are we really gonna do this right now? <laughs> you guys are gonna shame me for not having a girlfriend. <laughs> have you been here we before? You have one. You're good. <laughs> you girls don't count. Shit. Oh no. I guess no. I guess we could bend the rules a little bit no, if you wanted, no, but no 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 no, <laughs> no, no. You guys no, are really gonna no, put me on blast no. the first podcast back. Like he's lathered up. We just we just put the fucking spotlight on this guy. <laughs> just, this is why he wore the tank top. New new topic. Topic. <laughs> we, we just put the fucking spotlight on him. I'm not saying anything for a minute. You guys have to you guys have to, you have to talk about <laughs> something. <laughs> I'm sitting here, I'm not <laughs> saying anything. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, God. New topic. So the house. Yes. Oh, it's magnificent. How long are we been? We've been we've been here a month now. We. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I'm here enough. We. Oh, yeah, I yeah. guess Drew. Yeah. Uh, okay. Not not even a month. Yeah. No. A little under. How's it feel? We it's moved in June 10th. A month and a day. We moved in June 6th. <laughs> yes. I don't remember. That's why I pay you on the sixth. Oh, okay. Jesus. Sure. Okay, month and a day we've been here. Okay. I had a comment, but my minute's not up yet, so. <laughs> month and a day we've been here. It's been great. Uh, it's like mm-hmm. we can't we can't talk, and then you like laugh the whole time instead. Got my first hydro bill, four hundred dollars. Oh my what? god! Your How water much? bill was four hundred bucks. Electric. Wait, what was water? Have you got water yet? Nope. What? What the fuck's hydro? You hydro means water. Yet. No, hydroelectricity. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh Jesus. fucking hell, dude! Oh, Jesus. You should have stayed mute. You saved yourself. You fucked it. I should have just. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone in can or I think it's more of an Ontario thing. They call it hydro. Well, for, I, th- I know it's, it's oh it's weird, but it's it makes sense because it's our energy is produced by hydroelectricity. Yeah. I have a I have a funny up, Niagara. hydro story from la- like last month's bill. So I pay mine online, which I assume you do too. I have no idea. Oh. Yes, you can. Okay. Regardless. Sure. <laughs> so you know how like I live in, technically I live in one city, you guys live in another. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to pay up my thing online, but I look up your city's hydro. So I'm putting my username and password and I'm just kidding. Like nothing's coming up. And this is like 20 minutes of this. And I can't figure out what's going on. Wait, so when I, was this? Like last month. After you've been living there for like five years? <laughs> yes. Okay. So, 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 so I'm like, I'm panicking. I, I call the help live. <laughs> the lady's like, can I have your address? I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know why this is happening. What I've is been that? doing what this for address? a year and a half and nothing. And she's like, sir, you, you don't live in this city. <laughs> I, I fucked up. I fucked up. Bro, this lady's probably I'm like, I am I not I getting paid enough. He lives in a different uh, city. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. using our city's website to try to pay try his to bill. Try to pay my bill. And then I called the helpline, and the lady's like, <laughs> like as polite as you could be, like, sir, you you don't live in this city. <laughs> she was probably like, what the this fuck? Yeah. I, she I poured herself enough. a staff drink when she got home. Oh, how do you think I felt? I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Anyway, so sorry, buddy. my bill is like $35. Yeah. My bill at the apartment for hydro and for gas for like two months was $100. What the hell is all being spent on here? Well, it's there's 6, more there's more square foot. There's literally more lights in this room than your last apartment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, at least the fan doesn't work. You also, I, I found out that <laughs> yeah. Drew has been keeping his computer on for like the last month. I literally straight. have not you whatsoever. Idiot. I haven't. What's it doing? Downloading yeah, Warzone? I, I, I keep it off. Oh my goodness. Oh, this guy is, uh-oh, this guy is uh-oh, one uh-oh. anecdotal night uh-oh. that I left my computer on. Yeah? I need to find it. You guys keep talking. He's scrolling for something. Yeah, it's, it's, okay. definitely, it's definitely the computer being left on every once in I a while. Said, I said, first hydro bill is $400. Drew says, lol. <laughs> <laughs> I say, it's definitely from you leaving your PC on while you're gone to the cottage all weekend. And he says, I don't have to anymore now that I know how to start it up. <laughs> I was you literally just. Joking. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. No, oh, no. Why would I leave my computer on? You seem like a type, the type of guy to do I that. I literally, I left my computer on for one morning to download an update. I'm like, hey, man, after stream, can you go turn my computer off? I don't want to leave it on. And he's like, you and it left was, your computer on? I'm like, no, this is me trying not thing. to leave His it His computer, on. realistically, out of that 400 bucks, is probably like $2. No, no. <laughs> this guy has like, four like floors, $2. streams all day, has two computers on right now, may I add. Yeah. Mind yeah. you, mine's on as well. And then <laughs> mine's he eats, never a, on. eats a pool for like a bajillion pool parties. So the pool thing, I'm, my mom was just like, oh, it's probably because it's leave it left on all night. But I was like, there's no way that the pool water gets under 72 at night, right? I don't know. It could. It's 
it's not like it's that Wait, crazy. Do you, so do I just said I, right now. I just said not. I said it now to the lowest possible. So there's no way the heater's on, but it's still like flowing water. The thing is, is like that was warm, and you didn't have the heater on, but it was like forty today. Yeah, so it's, it's gonna be warm. Yeah, so I, I seriously doubt that's fact. I don't know. I didn't know you were much. heating your and pool. It's it's. I thought it was just like it still had a bit of a bite to it. I think that was warm. And well, like, it's it's gonna have yeah. it's gonna have less work to do while the air is heating it too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, I don't know. I feel like there has to be something else. I'll, I'll look on the website. Like maybe you have four floors, four hundred bucks. So like the website, though. like uh, at least, um, like it gives you a graph of like when it goes up and down, mm-hmm. like the time frame. It's actually pretty sweet. And mine is literally funny. As soon as it gets really warm, it just like spikes and then comes mm-hmm. back down and spikes. Well, and it's pretty fair. common it's... in the summer for like the air conditioning just destroys 100%. your bill. So, so as as and the weather goes one. up, yeah, as the weather goes up, that's what the, you can you can literally put on the graph like average temperature. As the average temperature goes up, my bill goes up. Mm-hmm. But again, You're that's... probably just like sucking power out of that one AC unit. We have two. Where is the second one? On the second floor. Like outside on the second floor? Pretty sure we have one in the basement and one on the second floor. No, AC units are outside. No, they're not. Most of them. Are, which one? The ones yeah, that come- you have a hub outside. It's what's on that side of your house. Oh, that, yeah. But, like, there's still two things inside that are, like, circulating the central I feel air. like you should have two on the outside, though. Pretty sure it's two. It's probably, like, Drake style. The Drake shit. Like, he's got the fucking industrial one on the roof. <laughs> Drake has yeah. a giant fucking have fan on, on the roof. Is- no, no, it's, like, five feet. Yeah, like, Let's I don't do need it. to go on the roof because I can go right here on the patio. Shane, That's... Shane bet me I couldn't climb over your fence today. He bet nothing. He actually did it, like, one shot. <laughs> yeah. I was a little shocked, to be it honest. Hurt. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, I didn't think you were getting it. Either. He literally, like, pulled himself, and he comes down. His chest is all red because he <laughs> scraped himself across oh, the yeah. top. I went like that this, and I got, like, one arm, and I'm like, oh, man. Like, I'm, I'm committed now. I just yeah. got to go for Probably it. And then slivers. to get off the fence because he went up at the rocks, <laughs> he, like, climbed across your rain barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it works. Yeah. I uh, I guess I forgot to lock the <laughs> gate last night. Because, like, I never use it. But all my friends were over Wait, last night. Was the gate unlocked this whole time? No, so, no, no. I, so I locked I didn't it this have morning. To jump the I locked it this oh, morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, fuck. No, no, but last night I forgot to lock it because, like, we never use it. But mm-hmm. my one friend who still lives with his parents, and his parents like, don't go within six feet. Like, super anal about everything. Fair. Like, like my mom. She'd probably um, kill me if she saw where I was sitting right now. But it's okay. Rob, go sit on that side. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. um, the most part. We'll sanitize so he opened it and then I like walked down in the morning to do the daily routine of the pool and then I just look up and the gates just wide swung open like nice that's probably not good <laughs> there's yeah, just a bunch of homeless dudes chilling off. in your backyard <laughs> yeah, having a beach party <laughs> what, what are they gonna cool steal day. a bucket of salt water I mean they could maybe break in you go for a swim well that's it's not gonna little... be any easier to break in from the back than it is the front yeah yeah it is it's a glass window he, his whole front door the both sides is glass no, that's it's reinforced. Also like, it's also like six <laughs> inches that's wide. Bulletproof. The other one's like a full size door. That's why. So it that's why. Through there. That's why there's that chip You're missing at the bottom of the door. Pound robber. Drew, you know. Drew. Yeah, no. Drew, you've lived in a white neighborhood your entire life. That's and this now, neighborhood. And now you live in it. Yeah. Wait a second. I live two streets down. It's you different. live in the neighborhood I grew up in. No, did you not go to school this here? again. You I did. Literally. Oh my goodness. No, don't open it. Dude, Jesus. I didn't realize. That, dude, I didn't like. There's a house across from you guys that's just like fucking covered in trees and shit. I didn't even know that that was a house there until yeah. I saw like, some guy leave it today. It scared the fuck out of me. Some we black Dodge Charger it. just came out of a. Rob's never seen a tree before. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> never. Rob. Dude, like, literally, you can't even see it back there. I didn't know there was a house there. We we hmm. completely avoided it on Halloween. Yeah, because it's had too many too much shrubbery, dude. No, it has a huge "Beware of Dog" sign on it. <laughs> maybe maybe it's a Halloween decoration. Maybe it's there all year. Um, I don't know if this is a huge change of topic, but I want to talk about the doc. Can we talk about Doc on here? Disrespect? We, we know nothing. <laughs> That's a huge change Wait, of topic. Yeah. Which Doc? I, know, I just I was like I kind of want to pick your guys' brains about it. Wait, has we, anything come out after? No. Nothing. I just love that my brother, who has nothing That's to do so with funny. gaming, he doesn't like play, play any games. He doesn't like video games. Doesn't st- watch streams or anything. Just like what happened to Doctor Disrespect? Where'd he go? Because <laughs> apparently he donated to uh, Nick two days ago and they told him what happened in that donation and now everyone's trying to get a hold of Nick being like yo what did Doc say what did Doc say why would he do that wouldn't there be like 30,000 people that were watching like he like messaged him and then like donated saying like yo Nick check your DMs or something like that so now everyone like 
I know not your favorite. Keemstar Did, has been trying to get a hold oh of God. them. Uh, all like the YouTube kind of news people. Every single time we talk about Keemstar, I always tell Rob what he's done. He's like, oh my I God, don't like, he's such Keemstar, an awful bro. human being. I don't think I'm he's gonna a I'm going to go watch guy. a new drama alert. <laughs> it's just the videos he makes are just like idiotically funny. I don't know. Oh God. So you support him? If, okay, okay, I watched, maybe like if I've you walked into a store video. and you're like, I don't support this establishment, but I would like to buy this. Yeah, but people, I, people do that every day. Sometimes they're the only ones that sell it. <laughs> but he's not. Well, yeah, it's he just is. like there's so many other drama shows out there. On nah, YouTube. not the same. <laughs> just like I know he's like he's had like I've seen clips of him doing like fuck shit and like just saying fuck shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just like he makes like, he's the only person I know I find on YouTube that makes those kind of videos. Where find him like, a new person. I yeah, find could, me a I, new. I uh, could literally find someone in five seconds. There's so many drama one, channels out there. One, two, two. I'm not three. doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know he's a scumbag, but like again. If, like, if I want a quick fix on like TikTok drama or what Logan Paul did over the weekend, <laughs> who, where else am I going to go? I just that? hate that he's always just True. like, when people shit talk him, he's just like, how can these people just take random gossip and spread it like it's truth? He's like, you guys are affecting me personally. Like, you can't do this. It's like, this is literally what he does for a living. I guess Self-awareness, so. That's fair, not once. Mm-hmm. He is kind of a, he's a, he's a clown, yeah. But again, like, I just don't, I don't, I don't watch this. Like, oh, Keemstar is so cool. It's like, what happened and Keemstar's like delivers it in like a a trolly way I guess I don't know Jesus he's just a troll but but um, again if you, if you can find me a substitute I'll watch that instead it reminds me of Unbox Therapy I don't like that guy okay nice. Unbox Therapy yeah he, he, he was always seemed pretty genuine he used to be what happened <laughs> Dr. Disrespect happened Dr. Yeah. Disrespect yeah so anyway circling back yeah nothing new nothing new really yeah. he's um, just gone bye bye I also, want, just so you know, when it comes to donating, you can make your name anything. I know, but everyone's saying that that's Doc. Like, that's Doc. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm just real. telling you, man. <laughs> I'm, I, was, I was scouring the internet. Doc could literally DM those people. Yeah, like, I mean? why would he be like, check your DMs? Don't you think if you're a 12-year-old really trying to get Nick Merck's attention that you'd be like, hey, I'll just be like, Dr. Disrespect, check your DMs with Dono. You know, it's, like, it's right to be skeptical about it. I'm just, I just think it's fun to also, I don't know, like... Things, this is like, the same guy who got called by those scam things. It's just like, oh shit, I got a call back. Well, dude, they called me when I just woke up. Nigerian prince? They were like, <laughs> I just woke up and some guy's like, My yo. Queen. <laughs> some guy's like, yo, your credit score was being affected and shit. And I just got a credit card, so I was thinking it was legit. Man. So, so I called him and I was like, fuck, man. Like, what do I do? Like, what's up? And he's like, yo, what's your address? What's up? And then no. he, and he was like, I was like, wait, why would you, buddy, you need my address if you're the fucking IRS or whatever. <laughs> so, and then he so, hangs up on me. I feel you. Yeah. Because my company does not like my company. Yeah, yeah. Spit you own it out, a we get it. Yeah, it's yeah, it. we entrepreneurship. Get it. We we do <laughs> my, my peeps. They uh they send out simulated phishing attacks over email to try and teach their employees to be better or whatever. Phishing with a P. You I've been clarify. so good for a year and a half of not messing it up. I've gotten every single one until the other day. I clicked on it and they're like, You did not pass this and it's because I've been trying to get a hold of a lady for like a week. And I couldn't get a hold of her. <laughs> and the phishing email was, you have this voice message in your mailbox. And I'm like, oh, okay. It's the lady trying to get back to me. I need to, like, I, this had Why to be taken care of last week. Why would you have a voice message on email? Because I don't have a phone. So it was like, I don't know. Maybe they have some Do you have to use system. Fuse or some shit? Like uh, Fuse, like F-U-Z-E. You have no. to use that. It's like a phone for the internet. Sex, Rob. Yeah, I'm a, fuse man. I'm a fuse man in real life also. So I clicked on nice. it, and they're like, hey, I, you, you got caught by the phishing. Don't worry. It wasn't real, whatever. And then I had to, got signed up. I had to do a bunch of phishing courses. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's what I did yesterday morning. Like, oh. Yeah, it's better than actual work, probably. You also got a speeding ticket the other day. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? The, the How cop, much over? The cop hooked him over. up, though. That's it? No, but he was going mm-hmm. 30 over. The cop hooked him up. The problem is, the uh, we get day. it. Everyone's going 30 over, blah, blah, blah. You, yeah, we get it. But the like, cop was very nice, and at the end of the day, I was speeding, so I just paid it. Yeah. I've never it was 40 bucks. Never but he was no, going on sweet. Highway 6, yeah. which is literally known as, do not go more than 10 over, because you will get pulled over. Oh, that's one. Oh, I'm not going to say where it goes, but I know where that is. Okay. I'm learning, <laughs> see? And mm-hmm. I'm learning. Dude. Highway 6. I've it's never, a small win, Christian. Just leave it. I've never gotten a... Uh, <laughs> I've never gotten a speeding ticket, but it's because your car can't I was go just above say, fucking sixty. I was gonna say my friends also pointed out because we were talking about this the other day because yeah. I was I was making fun of one of them for getting a ticket. He's like, dude, so your fucking car would fall apart as soon as it breaks like one ten. I'm like, 
True, but at least it's a, like a natural speeding defense mechanism. You hit 60 and the Alabama sticker like fucking pops out like a parachute and it holds you it's back. Just, it just creates drag. <laughs> yeah. No, that sticker's You were going off. too fast, Rob. Yeah, jeez. No, I remember I was going like 90 on the highway once and like I went to like switch just lanes. Just ripping it. Did you get a non-speeding ticket? My, my wheels just like... I'm just yeah. like, what the fuck? My car about to explode? And then I pull over and my car is like ticking, like tick, tick, tick. I hit the hood, I'm like... Oh God! So I literally He's waited dead. and like I went on like the far right and drove seventy the whole way home, like Toronto. <laughs> you didn't like call CAA. Or I just something? said, dude, I was like, it was nine p.m. I'm like, dude, fuck, if I die, I'm just gonna I say had fuck to, it. I had to do no. that. I had to do that when my I got a flat tire on the Gardner, and uh, Ooh, I had to drive sucks. home. So I had to drive home after on the donut. Going seventy on the four hundred one is terrifying. Yeah, yeah. It's terrifying. It literally dude, is, there's like eighteen wheelers. Running like 115 past, yeah, yeah, and terrifying. Driving those giant trucks that fast must be fucking scary, too. I've had to drive, here's where my cube van is, right? Mm -hmm. I had to drive that from wait, I don't want to dox, I want to say again. We moved here with, I didn't yeah. drive that though, but we know what it is. We, we, we. I drove it, I was shitting myself. Dude, but mine also was like refrigerated and had like tarts and shit in it, so there was, there was a lot more. There was wait, a, I need to hear why it was when I worked at the, the landscaping place. Dude, they, they that makes even kid. less sense, bro. I can tell. I, can, I just made, might as well make this into a story. You got mulch on was, one side and fucking baking goods on the other. Sketch. They were like, so they they hired these temp drivers that were Jesus. supposed to drive these trucks from like where that place is to uh, some golf tournament, um, Canadian Open. So they had like a side gig. I guess a so. catering company. It was no like, like the, the where I did landscaping for it's you know can I, can I say it is that my no we, we know we all know okay, where it was like, yeah. well, like they were at an event hall and they do, they do catering too right okay so, so it's yeah so they have like a multiple <laughs> side gig thing um anyways they hired these like temp dudes to come drive these cube vans like, yeah cube mm -hmm. vans do you know what that is I think so man yeah yeah um and then the temp dudes didn't show up and then they were like. We gotta get these things. <gasps> we, no, we, we gotta get these tarts and baked goods to fucking. This, this is like the plot of a video game. It's just like, Rob, you're the hero we need right now. The thing is, man, the Rob, ones put that I was, the shovel down. These tarts need to get where the they're going. I was driving was like stick shift, and you needed to have a special license to do it. So I was like, "There's no fucking way, Jesus. man." And then the guys like, my, the, my supervisor at the time was like, "Dude, like we have to get this down there. Like, just don't go through any truck stops. And like, if you get pulled over, like we'll take full responsibility for it. I'm That's like, not how it works. You would, you would get fucked. That's what I'm saying. But I was so like- So you still did it? I had to, man. <laughs> I just, I needed money. So True. I was just like, I'm driving stick shift, this fucking van full of like tarts and like baked goods, for, like an hour and a half. Get there, I'm sweating buckets. Everyone's like, oh, we're the temp drivers. I'm like, dude, I got fucking voluntold to do this. And my life and well-being is on the line here. Just so you know, you can say no at work. This guy's sweating buckets because they're refrigerating the back and not the fucking <laughs> the front. front. was hot as fuck, dude. There was like exhaust for the refrigerator. Did you get a tart? I did. I got yeah, lots good. of tarts. It was worth it. He pulled over cares? on the highway just to and grab one. And that's even worst, man. Don't pull in the trucks up. Pulls in the trucks up for a tart. <laughs> the, same, the same job. So the guy who owns it, mm -hmm. he was like... I just ordered a new patio set and barbecue and I don't know how to build it. He literally, I, me and three other dudes had to go to this guy's house and build it in his backyard. So wait, wait, wait. did you get paid? Yeah. Who Easy cares? day of work. Yeah. Done. But like, I was just like, what the fuck? I dude? see no issues. You, you got I, paid. Are there not cares? instructions though? Well, I was, he's just some lazy old <laughs> fat dude who didn't want to do anything. Okay. But again, I shouldn't say fat, but you, you know what I mean? You get paid with a pH? pH. Yeah. PHAT <laughs> fat. But yeah. I was like. I'm supposed to be landscaping, man. I'm not trying to fucking. I have a passion for landscaping. <laughs> yeah. Build your, out there. Build your barbecue, dude. Like, give me a break. Was yeah. it like actual landscaping, or was it like? Lawn it was like. Care? Eh, it was like whippersnippering and shit yeah, for the most part. Care. So yeah, that's not lawn. Care. And I wasn't moving rocks or anything. Tell me when you're moving some retaining wall. Dude, I I pretty much had to move heavy shit. Like yeah, everything, that everything, barbecue. everything, <laughs> everything we're looking at up up here. I had to move up here at some point, and Shane did too. Mm -hmm. Not the bookshelf. How'd that get up here anyways? It was already here. Oh, here. <laughs> oh, in here. But we had to move it from this over table. There. Yeah, we should talk about the moving process that day. Shane and I bought fine. that. Yeah. You guys would have been fucked without us. I'm just going to say it right now. Yeah, but they knew oh, that yeah. before. Yeah. That's why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why, why, you that's why yeah. we straight up told Drew not to bother coming. Yeah. And I said, all right. It went smoother than I thought it do, would. Do we put Drew on blast for the moving day? Yeah. Yeah, do it. What about Dude just fucking day? bailed. Yeah, so Drew, straight up, you said, I will be at the apartment. You're like, I just got to quickly move a few things and I'll be at the apartment at like 10 a.m. And then mm -hmm. we can do everything. 
it's like 1 p.m. and you still haven't shown up and you're like, sorry, and man, like I'm, I'm making my furniture. Like I got to do this. And then at like 2 p.m. Thing. You're like, no, no, no. should I even bother coming? So here's at the thing. 11 a.m. I said, should I come there or should I stay here? And you're like, just stay there. I'm like, all right, I'm going to build my bed then. Cause that's all already, there was to it. We were already done because you just never came. Correct. But like, be like, also, hey, Drew, where are you? We need your help. Like, oh, shit. Also, no, well, like the thing there is, there was zero communication. The communication was us three are to move, help move his stuff. At, we were to be there at 10 to get things set for the elevator, which was at like 11. But I couldn't because my bed was coming from 9 to 12, and we all knew that. Yeah, but you made it. <laughs> no, my mattress. My bed was already here. There was my like four was people coming. in yeah, the house. Annie was here. I was the only one here. And you're like, Annie is getting the U-Haul at 12, so you have to be there until then. Oh, no, and then didn't. Annie ended up getting at 11. It was Annie always the same time. Don't make me go back in the DMs. I know I'm right. It was always at 11. We never once said 12 because we had the elevator you at 11.30. You flipped off the 11 and 12 multiple times. No, we did. At first, no, we you're didn't. like, Annie's getting was... the U-Haul at 11. You guys can switch then. And the, I'm like, okay. The elevator was always locked in for 11, 11.30. Yeah. That never changed. So the U-Haul had to be That was day there. one. So that's just your own you, fault. You said yeah. the U-Haul at 12. And then I was like, no, okay, I, I need to get my mattress. Find the, and you're like, find, okay, you find can be there. Ah. Dig up the DM. Oh, God. Dig up the DM. Okay, anyway. so the other thing we're going to put them on blast for. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Nothing. You can't blast me for nothing. Is the fact that... Oh, this is going to be so on bad. <sighs> I straight up messaged him the day before. Because we got the keys a day before we moved in. And I said, Drew... Do you want to move anything in? Like you can start building your furniture and you can start making your bed now. And he said, no, man, I don't need that. And then he was building it all day. He's just like, I'm so stressed. Like, I don't have time. Like, I got to do this, this, and this. I was like, Drew, I told you you could do this yesterday. What do you want me to say? I'm bad at planning. His mom put him on blast. Like, yeah, Drew's way of rebelling was to, uh, you know, be very disorganized on times like this. I'm like, we know. (laughs) Even Bree was pissed at him. Yeah, but Bree's always pissed at him. No, Bree wasn't pissed at me. Well, she vented to me a decent amount about you. She's just like, Drew's Friggin never free. fucking ready. Like, he's always so unorganized. Yeah. I, I was literally... This I is an like, intervention. I was like, you don't have to... Like, She's like, I, are you going to like be having to do stuff when I get there? I'm like, like I, I have to move, so probably. <laughs> and she's like, I don't want to come if you're like doing all this stuff. I'm like, okay, well, then come later. She's like, no, I'll come at 11. I'm like, okay, well, like y- you're going to be mad at me then. She's like, no, First, no, it's fine. I'm like... Okay. You, you had Which a rough. Game. You had a rough day. First, he pisses off his mom. <laughs> then he pisses off us. And then he my pisses was, off Bree. My mom was definitely not pissed. No, she it was just funny. In the house. It was funny. It was funny. <laughs> I was relatively impartial the whole time. When did we move in? I was just. A, I had tunnel vision. June is. Yeah. What, no. I would, again. It was like probably One the. Five? I know we haven't had that many moves, but it was clean. Like, yeah. No hitches. No nothing. Yep. The only Except hitch for that was guy that, taking the elevator. And that was like twenty minutes, and it was honestly a yeah. nice breather. The guy was a um, prick. The only thing. Was nice. The only thing I hated about that is that they just put everything in front, and they're like, "Oh, we just want to borrow the elevator." It's like, no, you ask us, then you unload it. Yeah, we could have been like I'm the biggest to, assholles. I'm yeah. trying but to carry shit is, out, and there's like boxes in the way. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> just Rob sends us a picture of a hot dog. <laughs> I don't remember saying that. We could have been big assholes, but then again, like again, it was. It's not the movers' fault. They had no idea. I guess. I don't know. This poor planning on the behalf of the your your yeah, old. That's not the first time they've done that. No, they do that every time. They're just like, oh, just ask them. And they expect us to take care of them. Like you gave it to us. Mm-hmm. That was probably the most refreshing jump in a pool I've ever had, though. Yeah. After all that whole yeah. shit. Oh my gosh! And that cider, which is still here, I gotta grab it. And your from your fridge, that jug. Mm-hmm. You guys gonna be hooked on ciders now, man. Ciders and they have right. beers. It, it doesn't. It's not as shitty as beer, which I'm happy about. But you have to find the right one. Yeah, I think you, beer. You, you have to find cider. You have oh. to find a beer that you like, and just you'll start to like beer. I most think. Of, most of so the light many beers, beers, they're awful. They're similar. Uh, like mo- we had the beer Mageddon, and I tried a shit ton. Yeah, there. but there was some weird like artsy fartsy like ales and shit. The on beer Mageddon was the funniest thing because like. Like, I think it was like, who was there with us? No. Yeah, but it was just us three. There was a fourth. So, wait, the beer again is a giant Maybe. beer paddle, yeah. right? It has like so 20 like, sampler size. We pretty much, there's like eight, or I don't know, let's say there's like 100, which I know there's not that many. But, so, there's 60. There's like 20 dark beer, and then the rest are light. So, the three of us split all the light, and we just feed Nile the dark beer because yeah. no one wants it, and he's loving yeah, it. Yeah, Nile <laughs> loves that shit, man. I can't yeah. do dark beer. It just tastes like you're drinking like, oh, he like loves sour it. mud. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can't do oh, it. So classic, Rob. Christian's like, Annie's moving some stuff in. Then we're going for a swim. If you guys, you guys can come if you want. And Rob, I'd be down for tomorrow afternoon. 
referring to the day we were moving in and planning on swimming in the afternoon. So I was nice. like, the day of, I'm like, oh, fuck it, I'm down. <laughs> what a guy. That was fun. Hey, but it doesn't get to the bottom of our, our conundrum here. Well, we'll keep he's strong. not going to find it because yeah. we always you said, be here we all said 11. 15. Elevators all I know is that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Repeat that. You haul will be here at around 11.15. Elevators are at 11.30. So, so if the U-Haul arrives at 11.15, when do you pick is, it up? The, the, no, 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 no. Circle back. When do you pick up the U-Haul? Probably around... No. How, how could well, the U-Haul be there at 11.15? Yeah. Regard- but I thought the U-Haul had to be there at noon. I told you guys a week in advance. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, you're, <laughs> are you going to hear me or not? Yeah, go ahead. That my mattress is coming anywhere between 9 a.m. to 12. And Kay. Christian's like, okay, well, when Annie gets back from getting the U-Haul, you guys can switch. Okay. So, so explain to me how they managed to move everything into the truck. Because we're before, fucking animals, Before you bro. even <laughs> offer to come over. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, so Which circling reason? back, you were searching for the U-Haul getting there at noon was your original point. Yeah. <laughs> Did it, in fact, get there at noon? I don't know. It wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> we win this one. We win this one. Honestly, he... That's it. Hold on, this, this is still it's like, it's, still it's like when you try to argue with a kid that, no, yeah. like, as that you know. As soon as my mattress is delivered, I can come help move the big stuff, too. You, you've the already said this point. Love pizza. You were searching if you... Uh, listen, I'm going in chronological order here. You, you've already... You, you got this part. What the hell, Penguin? The whole point. <laughs> I found so much random stuff like this. What the fuck is that? It's just like Harambe walking around. <laughs> Christian just said this in the chat. <laughs> oh, I said that's what Rob looks like walking around. <laughs> Why me? Zero, con- <laughs> zero context, just a gorilla. <laughs> there has to be context before that. Yeah, probably. I never. I wouldn't just send that yeah. for no reason. <laughs> I was gonna say. No, no, it's like Rob. That's not a bad idea. I just went for a bike ride. Didn't see anyone. Must have heard I was coming around. And you said I imagine Rob walking around like a yes. gorilla. So that's that. That's not. That. 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 Well, that's, that's context. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no context at all. Regardless, <laughs> dude. This is like a, this is like a, your original point was the U-Haul being there, saying it was gonna be there at noon. Yeah, just admit you're wrong. Christian, uh, yeah, whatever. They're, they're wrong about the U-Haul timing. Beauty, good. Yeah, we win. All right. Let's move on. You Dude, put your phone away. No, oh, I need you. Oh, so, so I go into like whole, a black the, hole when I type in Discord. The sometimes. whole thing that makes no sense is that Drew claims that at 11 o'clock, he messaged us to come over. We hadn't even started loading the truck at that point, but I know for a fact that when he messaged us, we were already done loading or almost close to. I think it's when we uh, were it's waiting. It's not my fault you're fast. We the thing with, is, is at 11... But that would have been at like noon. No, because remember at 11 o'clock is when we we had to go save Annie. Yeah. So we, <laughs> yeah. we weren't even starting loading. So there's no way you message us at 11 to come I over. Me- I messaged Annie, I think. So I've been looking but in the wrong saving. Chat. Yeah, but like, so the whole point... Poor Annie's getting dragged into this. And, and <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Yeah. on top of that... It would actually be furthermore. It would be <laughs> impossible oh. for you to come over and help us because if you were the only one at the house and you messaged Annie, why would you be coming over if Annie your mattress was still there? So it would have had to been around eleven because she hadn't gotten back yet. Yeah, but why would you come over if there's no one there to relieve you because you said you had to be there for the mattress? Because my mattress is there at that point. So when my mattress got here, I messaged someone <laughs> saying, "Should I come help?" And I was told no. There's no way that you messaged before we even started loading. Finding the time this guy, stamp. this guy messaged because I'm pretty sure he messaged when we were all just chilling. We down were waiting in the, because the guy took the elevator. Yeah, and we I were can't both- see timestamps in Discord, but I said to Annie, June 6, 2020. What's your plan? And she said, I just dropped off the U-Haul. Gonna head over to the house soon. And I said, Okay. Do they still need help, or should I unpack stuff? And she said, Let me ask. And I said, Okay. I'll probably come up town. I just don't want to come there as they're leaving. And she said, they don't need you. Just stay at the house. Let me see. That, why is there no time <laughs> It's just like the worst slide. He erased, he erased you can find timestamps. Oh, know. it's because it's too old. But he, she would have had to have been them. at the apartment still. He erased, <laughs> he erased the timestamps. That's what took so long. He probably copied and pasted that. He's like, Wait, fuck. didn't Annie come back to the apartment? Yeah, yeah she, she was, no. was there. She was so, there with, she was uh, so that was probably when you messaged. No. I hadn't seen, I hadn't seen anyone at all that morning. Aside from, no, I don't think Bree was there yet. Wait, I, I was here since I This know. is the most pathetic slide ever. <laughs> it doesn't move. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I remember that. But that makes no sense. Why would we say no to your help if we hadn't even started loading? We didn't. We, we got that. We, 100% we, got, we were already past the checkpoint. I was going to say, we were about like the halfway to three quarters where me and Rob no, were like, we, we already got just all... dropped off the U-Haul. About to come back. We already had a problem. Because I can remember sitting in the back because we had just moved like, the couches and stuff. Couch and shit, yeah. Yeah. And also, it's not my fault if you're fast. But there's no way that we would have moved that down in five seconds. I, as soon as my mattress was here, I said, what's your plan to Annie? Oof. 
Wait, wait, wait. What, what was that? Uh, what was that noise? It was me. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Shane, we're in class. I, I, I thought you made that with your mouth for a sec. I was no. impressed. <laughs> no. But, um... But, Anywho, you I didn't hear what you it. said because I got distracted. All, by the, all I remember fuck. is like I almost slept in by accident, and then I just woke up and started calling everyone in the panic. I was like, "That was the funniest shit Oh my shit god, ever. that was hilarious! So we're we're driving because Annie Annie gets in the U-Haul, tries to drive, parking brake on, can't figure it out. Kind of funny, but then I get a call from Rob on the way to the U-Haul, and Rob's like, "Yo, where are you guys? On the way to the U-Haul? What are you guys doing right now? Getting the U-Haul?" <laughs> Are Where's you at Christian? Christian's? <laughs> Where's Christian? He's driving me to get the fucking U-Haul. Where are you guys? I was, on the way to the U-Haul. I was so panicked that I missed everything. But I was it like, literally goes on like for like a minute, and a minute and a half, and then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, see you at Christian's. <laughs> no, but did he call to clarify? And then I call. I think I called like Shane, you, and yeah. Annie. And I think Rob, I called you also. Rob called me. And then I did like, call Drew. And yeah. I didn't respond. He's like, oh, sorry, sorry. I forgot you're at the house right now. <laughs> I, was like, I was just like, dude, where is everyone? But the call was so funny. He's like, where? it's like that over and over and over until it clicks. And he's like, cool, so I'll meet you there then. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was, it was one of those things where I just woke up and I was like, I needed it to be, needed it to be spelled out for me. Yeah, and, and we were not willing. <laughs> yeah, well, kind of, yeah. And not to mention that he went to bed at like 5 a.m. Which is The jokes. night before. Oh, I did do that. Yeah, and he's just like, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I was playing for it. Yeah. I update. just remember I literally woke up and because I, I was texting Christian, like, okay, what's our time? And he's like, I don't know. Well, I messaged the group chat like super late. I was like, don't worry, guys. I'll be there. Yeah, about, exactly. So I wake up 1030 and I'm messaging Christian. What's the time? And he's like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then I look, and I scroll up and Rob message like 330 <laughs> a.m. I'm like, this dude, because we were talking about breakfast yeah. before. I'm like, this dude is not fucking making it. No. But you still showed up at a decent I time. I think I got there like 1045. Sure, you showed up before Drew did. Before me. Mm. I had like, dude, I remember I woke up and I ate like, I tried to cook eggs in time, but they didn't cook like, fast enough. So I literally like drank like half cooked <laughs> eggs and a banana. <laughs> and just, if you cook eggs in a high heat, they cook in like two minutes. Well, like I had them in the microwave and like a cup thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, I wanted to fry them. That's what I used to do in going before school. Just like cook two eggs in a cup. Dude, you just, you just, you know, whisk it. Whisk it and put it in the microwave. Yeah. You guys don't microwave eggs? No. Dude, I used to microwave chicken. Like raw chicken. I'm gonna throw up. I'm Again. pretty sure that's not. <laughs> no, you can. You, you put, put some the water in yeah. inside the yeah, eggs. Yeah. yeah. And there's this a salmonella parfait, as they call it. <laughs> <laughs> that's where COVID came from. Yeah, I started it. Again, Rob gave COVID to the fucking bat. To the bat. Dude, you guys never microwave chicken before, really? No. no I, that's I, not why normal. would I microwave 100% chicken? 100% have. 100% yeah, have. Why? That why? is not normal. Why, though? It's convenient. When, like, you're, like, when I was like with my a bunch of friends, when I stayed there for like two months when I was going to college. Just at their dorm, they didn't have an oven. So just microwave chicken. But if yeah. you like, you just cut it up and fry. It takes like probably the same amount. How long does it take in we a microwave? We didn't have an oven. Okay, did you have a stove? No. That's you can have same. a stove without an oven. <laughs> maybe if you're rich, like, like like those ceramic top ones, maybe. But like, like no, I, I have I had that, a stove but that's the... not normal. This guy just called. We had a... literally a cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> you expect student housing to have a stove no, top? I, no, I had a stove top and an oven in every student. I think most I of them do now. Yeah, this Dude, was no, but like you, you're saying that you expect. <laughs> yeah. You're saying that they they should have both, like separate. No, I'm I'm just saying it's possible to have a stove and no oven, regardless. Although I did pull some pretty grimy shit in university when it came to cooking food. So like, he used his dishwasher. Like I I wouldn't wipe or you no, know, like when you fry something. I would go for like three meals in a row before I cleaned it. Was it cast iron? Because that's literally no, how you no, use cast iron no, pans. No. It was like <laughs> just a normal. I would, pan. I would I would have breakfast on it, and then I'd be like, you know, there's only a little bit of like egg shit in the corner. I can just fire this up for lunch. I've cook got, some chicken. I've okay. Got. I always give it a quick rinse. A little bit of egg is okay. Like yeah, I always do the rinse no matter what. I wouldn't mm-hmm. even rinse unless it. it's like I'm making more eggs and like. It's an egg on I egg. Man, still if rinse I had it. like a grilled cheese for breakfast, I'd use the same pan for a grilled yeah, cheese for dinner. Yeah, but you're using dinner. cast iron. No, no, no. It adds like to in, the in flavor. University. Mm. It, yeah, it, so it, you're it, using cast iron. I really need to, How long does it take to cook a chicken in the microwave? A long time, doesn't it? it does it come out like... Five minutes per side-ish. Yeah. Does it, does it taste good? No, it's fucking... It's like a, it's unless like, you... Like, like even when you season it, it still tastes it's like, like, like just ass. It's just a little slimy, yeah. It literally like... Like it slips over the microwave. It's like covered in like... I feel like at that Juice. point you just buy a pre-cooked chicken from Correct. the grocery store. We just didn't. <laughs> we didn't. Not, dude, I would just go and buy dude. those like this. It's probably the eggs. same price. This is like the same argument that Annie always gives me is that I always put all our pizza in the toaster oven because mm-hmm. it tastes so much better than putting yeah. it in the microwave. And then um, I'll like heat up my, i be like, Annie, do you want some? She's like, yeah, just put it in the microwave. 
Like, no, I'll put it in the toaster. <laughs> Don't oven. I will not put it in the microwave. And then she's like, I, it's faster. I just want it now. And then she'll Jesus. eat it and she'll be like, oh, it doesn't taste as good. That's like, again, that's one of like the, the no shit. <laughs> a toaster oven in pizza. And you yeah. broil. Leftover like, pizza. Game changer. You can't microwave. Like, I've never, I haven't microwaved old pizza in years ever since I tried it. either that. toast it or eat it cold. Yeah. Cold pizza is better than microwave. Toaster Correct. oven in the broil setting. You just mm-hmm. I don't even have a broil setting. Sizzling. I just toss mine for like Literally a minute. Literally all toaster ovens probably have a broil. Yeah. We can broil in a toaster oven? You can get a, like a $20 toaster oven and it has a broil. I thought broil was like how you, you cook think, turkeys you think and we shit. can afford yeah, that? Why would you broil a turkey? It is. No. Don't let them tell you otherwise. <laughs> no, it broil turns up the oven to like 500. And no, that's how you cook turkeys. Under- Broil. <laughs> no. Yes, it is. You cook them low and slow. That's why. No, they take... you cook it high and low fast. And That's why it takes like all Christmas Day to cook a turkey. No. Man. Have you, you ever sh- heard of like the the mom just getting up and cooking the turkey? Dude, at, you're like, such a good cook. You should do a cooking show or something. Nah. <laughs> Drew, most toaster ovens for broil has like a chicken icon on it, but not I'm, a turkey. I'm icon. going <laughs> right down here. I'm pretty sure ours does. Large, large birds of prey. <laughs> Trying so hard to not go right now. I'm like 90% sure because I, I know what you're talking about. No, Drew, no, sit dude, don't do down. It. I don't want to hear you been going see your feet. An hour. Oh, How we got lots know? of time. I don't know. We started like 8. <laughs> it's like 7. It's like 9. 40 so. something, I think. No, it's we didn't. 10. No, it's not. I got to film these goddamn placement videos still. Wait, should we talk about video game stuff on here still? Or is this going to be like... <laughs> it's no longer a video no, game. No, it's banned. Me. It's, it's on the, the chalkboard. We can't talk I'm just going to say... That. I love how Christian puts his like trophies up on the wall too. <laughs> I'm well, the glass one, I see that. I was like, I needed something to fill it, so I just yeah. threw everything I had. Well, I basically took everything from my background and put it on there. What I will say, though, is out of all the multiplayer games I've played, Siege is the m- most difficult by far to play by yourself in. Like, oh, yeah, it's a team game. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like half, like sometimes you guys don't have, guys don't have enough fucking mics, they're not even communicating with you, and like you try to say something, it's just like, what? It's like, what? And then no one says, no I, one says shit. I'm sure you felt the same way with CSGO. Yeah, CS, but I don't like CSGO. I'm not like genuinely trying to win every single game. But like, like if you were, you're not I imagine right. like your teammates yeah. probably would get pretty pissed at you. I guess, for being I mean, bad. guess maybe like some dude who plays CSGO all the time is saying the same thing about me. Exactly. So, yeah. but mm-hmm. I don't know. Siege, it's like literally everything you do is like reliant on someone else doing something. You know what I mean? I guess yeah, that's also another factor. Like in Siege, you can fuck over your team by not oh, knowing hardcore. what you're doing. Like you can reinforce a wall that completely prevents your team from doing shit. As I've mm-hmm. done a few times so mm-hmm. far in my solo queue games. Yeah, I do it on purpose. I just wait till the boss tells me where to put the reinforcements. Yeah. <laughs> you, you wait for that ping 10 seconds into the round. It's right? literally every time. There's like five seconds and I'm just like, I'm just like staring at some peppers in the corner. Yeah. They're like, Shane, you have to reinforce these walls. On my way. Come back to my peppers. <laughs> or it's like, is description like, I know you, I know you have reinforcement stuff. Come here and do this. And I'm just You're like, like fuck. fuck. I would, no, Rob's literally always, how do you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm watching. I followed you around the whole time. Yeah. Or I'll, I'll just be watching you guys. I'll be like, okay, I see Drew over here. Shane's, doing something i'll be like patrick did this and there's and no reinforcement rob's just like shooting at the roof trying to get a drone somehow <laughs> and i'm like rob get the fuck back here He's like, i don't have reinforcements man i remember one of the placements i played i reinforced something and some guy's just like nasty what the fuck are you doing <laughs> <laughs> i was like i'm sorry man i think i reinforced like i was out back I, when that map sucks by the way i hate yeah. that map so much it's really bad. as a site where like there's the there's the bowl and there's a wall that faces it and there's a mirror strat i guess where you put it like facing that way yeah and i reinforced like beside it and the guy's just like dude like what are you doing bro like, I'm have, pretty you ever, sure, ever, have you ever played this map before i'm pretty sure in the Oof. most recent match that i played with you i have a clip of where i was like oh rob can you and you're like you don't, don't worry know. i know the strat and you did it and i was like <laughs> Oh my god, this yeah. is game changer. I'm trying to think of what math that would be. It was Outback. It was the same thing. It was the exact same. Oh, maybe that's where setup. I learned it from then. No, because that would have this happened this week. Maybe he had the wrong strategy. Maybe you he did right. it wrong and I was right. True. Whatever that guy's name was. I'm gonna go back and find it and message him. Shane four seven four. Just so you know. No. Oh my but, yeah. god, now I'm doxxed. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows your your you play name now. <laughs> Shit. And your Discord name. Shit. Wait, doesn't Discord need like a hashtag? Yeah. Yeah. It does, does it? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Do like the number sign and then like four numbers. The hashtag. hashtag. Ampersand. My numbers are four seven four as well. No, that's that. Mm. No ampersand. Yeah. Uh, What's an ampersand? The, and I'm, I've honestly yeah. I've never heard that word in my life. I've heard it. I just so know what it, it meant. Used to be... What's the What's the hash then? It's hashtag. Some, no. Pound sign. Pound sign. No, it's got another. It's got another word. I, what I keep talking. I'm trying to think about it. I swear it's only hashtag or pound sign. Pound sign is the the number sign, yeah. Yeah. 
At least on a cell Because they always say like pound. Press call. pound too. Yeah. Rob just fucks his phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, press pound. I'm like, I got a pound. How, how, how do I do this, guy? It's called an Octothorpe. An Octothorpe? That sounds like uh, the name of my high school teachers, to be honest. Is that doxing them? <laughs> Wait, no, not how, how high school, elementary school. I was about to say, I, was like, I know all the high school teachers, not a single one of them were called Dr. Octothorpe. Dr. Octothorpe. Doc Ock was my gym teacher, bro. Yeah. This nice. guy taught me how to be very versatile and how to kill mutant children that have been bitten by spiders. All right, then. Okay. Dr. Octopus? Or is, or is that a... He's not a mutant. Or is that a Marvel guy? He's, a, he's just a that's, crazy scientist. That's Spider-Man. Do you guys ever... Like, I've pissed off so many Marvel <laughs> DC fanboys. I, I, I can't tell why. Like, I don't do it on purpose, man. I just watch the Avengers movies and think they're sick. I, I, I don't, it's all Marvel. <laughs> true. Yeah, I know, the, I know the Avengers are Marvel. Batman's DC... Spider-Man's DC Marvel. Marvel. Kind of both, isn't he? Thor no, is... No, he's an Avenger. Well, Spider-Man was in got, the Avengers movie, I thought he got dude. bought over. Nope. So, Civil, Civil War. There was something about him, okay. wasn't there? Civil so Marvel, War, he was in. Marvel in the 90s was going bankrupt. Mm -hmm. And they only had like one option, which was to sell off some characters. So they sold the X-Men to Fox. Mm -hmm. They sold um, all Spider-Man rights to Sony. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, I'll explain that game they made then. I think they sold a few other like small <laughs> characters, but they kept like <laughs> Iron Man and all the... like. B role people. Mm -hmm. B, I, the B first role. Iron Man movie was I think they sold the Hulk as well. I think so Hulk no. was made by Sony. At so first. then they they just like got the, the didn't Sony Four? fuck up Spider Man? So then they got the I'm no like Sony still I think owns Spider Man, but mm -hmm. Marvel paid them I think a shit ton of money to get the rights to use it in their movies. Ah okay. But I think Sony still owns it, and I think Sony gets like a twenty percent cut of all of their profits from the Marvel movies that Spider Man's in. Shit. So Which is why deal. there was like the whole Spider-Man's canceled thing at one point because they had a spat. Yeah, because Sony wanted, like, they I think they originally agreed on like twenty percent, and Marvel was like, "We want to bring it down to like five percent." Mm -hmm. Oh, like no, we already agreed to this, and then Marvel was like, "Well, we're not going to use the character then or whatever." There's people, sure. who, there's people who really care about that shit though. Like Ben, like I said, like I've had one like misstep when I was I forget what I was who I was even talking to. And they were like, just so you know, man, uh, this is that person's in DC. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, it's a movie like universe. Yeah, I just don't care. Like, I understand the, the fandom and stuff, but like, well, I guess I'm trying to think if there's anything that I care enough about that I would correct so football. For football, but that's different. It's way different. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> it's characters from different teams, different yeah. universes. Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> for once, wrong. Whoa, he's wrong. Man. Well, I wasn't wrong. Who cares? Okay, how are you going to compare Marvel and the NFL an NFL team? Dude? Okay, what if I was just like, oh, I, I love Kirk Cousins on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Well, like, it's not... Like, True. That's my, kind of a fair point. I'm blue screening, dude. I can't remember. Yeah, so that's how people who love Marvel and DC feel. That's a fair... That's a very good... Okay, okay fine. You know what? Uh, we lost you guys it for right. a minute. You guys are right. That's a good, that's a good take, though. That's that was a good take. Yeah, that's literally... Like, you're, you're yeah. completely wrong, and they're like, you are wrong. Calm the fuck down, man. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm, 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 short circuiting. I'm trying to think of anything I can say. I just going to get picked apart, but you can't. Oh, There's nothing. On. It's just like a if sports it holds team, up, man. We'll give you credit. Yeah. Like, I had a whole rant about sports today. Oh, oh. what was it? Where um, Re -rant. I was Re -rant. just like, Rant. It's really depressing that people are so obsessed with sports that they can't go one year without it. That they have to like make so many exceptions and regulations just to fit around like how NHL is happening in Edmonton. That's just they want money. At first yeah, I was like money. that, but, like, no, but, like, but I'm saying like the fans where they're like, oh, it yeah. has to happen. Like, like if it doesn't happen, like Rob, how he's just like, if I, if football doesn't start this year, he's like, I'm going to go into a well, deep depression. Me and Rob were talking outside about like NHL specifically being like, I kind of wished now. Chop liver. Yeah. Like, yeah. You weren't there. Like uh, I kind of wish now that the season just didn't, yeah, didn't start. Hockey, they just started mm -hmm. next year's on time. Because like hockey. You were nice. No, it was me and Rob. Because hockey, like the season, like it should have been like done going on a while ago. Mm -hmm. So like, like now at this season. point I'm not invested into it because I was like, eh, it's it got paused and stuff. Just cut your losses. F yeah, exactly. Football hasn't started yet. It hasn't been canceled. And it doesn't sound like it will be canceled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but it's just like. But yeah, when I was talking about it on stream, my chat was just like there was actually one guy who was basically Rob's friends, but for football, where I was just talking about, it, he's like, shut the fuck up, man. You don't know anything about football. <laughs> like, let us have this. Classic. Well, it's just like. I can't guess like a meathead, but so much of my life revolves around football when it's on. 
yeah. mm-hmm. fantasy, like everything I talk about, everything I think about, all this. Like I watch every game, watch everything. Everything you think about? Almost like, everything. Jeez, I see. Like you get excited rough, about it, and it's fun watching hockey, but it gets to a point where you as a fan are saying my entertainment is more valuable than these guys having well, like any sort if, of life. If they said like yeah. if they said the like, if Kirk Cousins, who's him as an example, is like I'm Tampa not Bay playing Buccaneers. I'm not playing because of uh coronavirus. I don't know mm-hmm. the name of it for a sec. What the hell? COVID twenty. COVID twenty. COVID nineteen. <laughs> if he was like, I'm not playing because of COVID, I'd be like, sure, all the power to you, man. Like yeah. you're your own person. If you don't want to play whatever. What if the entire league if the, like I'd be like this sucks, but it's the, how the world is. They've already mm-hmm. canceled the NBA. They canceled the NHL. They've canceled everything but like soccer, pretty much. So it's like, oh yeah, I'm what is happening for, with soccer? Like I'm assuming it's just empty stadiums. Empty stadiums oh, no. and like okay. every, they have like they have it on lockdown. Like you have to get tested. And most a week teams are like after. also locked down. Yeah, like, like they have to stay in a that's bubble. That's the part that like depresses me. Is like people want what Drew said. Like they yeah. want the sport so bad that they're like, I want these athletes to be like bunkered Exposed down in a room. For five months straight with no social mm-hmm. life, the Blue Jays have to live in the Rogers Center. Literally, like that's awful. And there's and there's some that are trapped in Florida right now too, aren't they? No, Mind they you, nobody's home. watching yeah. the Blue Jays right now. Also, anyway, like but... you make it sound like the Rogers Center, like it's it's so nice. The hotel's sick. Yeah. yeah, but like, but like you're still living in it. Like you can't see your family or. And you just made thirty million doing it. You made twenty million doing it. Yeah. You made ten million do. I guess they all got. Pro- Actually, it's not worth for them because they saved last year would make thirty, but now it's a prorated contract. So they're not making anywhere near as much. It's also still, like it's like a fan prioritizing their entertainment over like what they like. I get it. Yeah. They have money, you also but like they can't say spend like, it right now. You also say like, oh, who cares? They made thirty million, but these guys are already millionaires. Like the money doesn't mean anything. Well, and that's them. the decision. Like I don't see it much in, but you see it in the NBA. There's a lot of top Everyone's people who are like, out. don't think we're coming back. Because the NBA tried to do a hub city at in Disney, right? And then yeah. the first couple teams are there. Now. Favorite city in Disney, yeah. which yeah. is which still it, open. It, yeah, it technically is a city. Well, like thing, but fucking. Uh, I'll explain after. It made no sense because you're not gonna remember. Disney is open, and like there's people coming in which actively. Fucked. And then well, they're also trying to simultaneously host an NBA like, season. Well, it's the same caterers, the same service workers, <laughs> everyone getting all mixed up in viruses and shit. Yeah. And you see NBA players were dropping out, like big names. Like, yeah. I forget who it was today. Uh, big names. Someone who I forgot I already. But obviously. the NBA in the contract is literally like you, you have to play in Disney. You have to stay at like these team hotels. Like they have hotels locked down, mm. and like you can't use any of the facilities. Like you can't leave this little area. You can go to the practice facility. And you can go to the hotel. That's mm. it. Yeah, and, and again, like, I don't. I know like the fans put pressure, but really, it's it's on the it's 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 the owners. Yeah. Really, they well, just want to make more money. The owners are the guys who are they want to go to the games. They'll be sitting in their suites and I read a thing about offices in like L.A. Y- or European something. soccer. Their revenue is down like four billion. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Well, what's like that percentage wise? I have no idea. Because like if they make like. 80 billion then I'm like okay at well, 5% still. no it's probably a significant but portion the, wouldn't it be those stadiums are huge like they mm-hmm. must make so much money on tickets yeah. I'm just wondering like, I, that's what I'm wondering because like if it's a small percentage it's whatever but if yeah, that's right. a I lot I don't know what it would be even like small town even like small town English soccer teams probably like they make tens of millions of dollars per year I imagine mm-hmm. it's just the strictly off the fandom and then like the I, I would assume primary revenue for most sports is ticket sales no, right. it's probably no, like it's merch. It's or, or um or TV stuff maybe or TV, TV stuff. Deals. Merch it's, is like the number one because you no, can ma- TV deal and like NBA for example is like literally the, they're all the revenue. I guess that's I true. don't know, man. It's if you're fun. Toronto, ticket sales. Mer- maybe. Merch is huge. Well, like how much? How much is like a jersey if you buy one? Two hundred bucks. Yeah, two hundred bucks. Well, it costs them ten bucks to make. Oh. Mm. You really think a jersey I, costs I that? I doubt. It's definitely not two hundred. You really, you really think are... little Timmy in fucking Uganda, who's <laughs> sewing that for you, is getting paid more than ten bucks to make that? Little Timmy. Yeah, he might. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta add the materials on top of Timmy. Well, the thing is, you can buy it's it. fucking thread. It's like there's one dollar. Some of them are pretty nice materials. There's I, those. There's websites. a lot of fake jerseys. I was where just gonna say. Like, yes. There's those websites too where you can buy like. Uh, there's thread counts low on an NFL quality jersey. Mm-hmm. Like my, I got the, my Diggs jersey off one of those, and it was like thirty bucks. And like, so like, obviously, if someone doesn't care. The jersey must be able to be made at such a low price that they just don't give a shit. Thirty bucks for a jersey? Mm-hmm. When, like, yeah, but that jersey probably cost them like one dollar to make. The two hundred dollar like, one easily like, cost. I would not say it would cost more than twenty bucks. It's, it's still the same, like which is still scale, which is. <laughs> That's a 900% <laughs> profit margin. Again, I think like for NBA, for example, I think the, the revenue stream, their main revenue stream is their TV thing. Mm-hmm. Like, That's the TV thing. Like, like their, t- TV their TV deals. contract. 
because they, they they signed a new one like three oh, years like ago. What? Yeah, they just boosted everyone's. So they signed contracts. this new contract. All of a sudden, there's all this money in the league, and everyone's contracts went up like 10 mil. Salary cap went up like bench players were getting. No, but paid, like, what like, does it mean by TV? Like, like I don't know what that like means. Fox. You have to NBC. pay for the rights yeah. to play the games. Like everyone, like, there was a bidding war for who. Like, oh, like the main channel, channel could. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the TNT one. I'm pretty sure, at least for them, and I so I assume that's most of them. Sponsors have to be. You got to think the sponsors yeah. are paying. Well, sponsors pay individual players normally. There's team spot like the Leafs are sponsored well, every, by many. Every, every, like Scotia Bank bought the freaking naming rights for like like twenty million, didn't they? Dude, like every year. every NBA team has a patch like now too. Like the ads on Wait, the naming and what? Naming what? The, the arena. Oh, yeah. they've been like naming the Leafs. Yeah, the Scotia, Scotia Bank Maple Leafs. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so weird because um, Boston has TD Gardens, mm-hmm. but isn't that like TD Bank? No idea. Yeah. Yeah. Dominion. The, the best thing too is like people pay for no ads Canadian bank. and then once it's like like there's the two breaks um you see people come out and they rip the ad off the screen because then someone else has paid for the next period and then that period well, they, they have come like out the, and rip another the electric one. ones that's it's like a lot yeah. of cgi yeah. now too mm-hmm. but yeah but in toronto they still rip them off well they run different ones because mm-hmm. they run ones for people that are there and then run ones for people watching from home so they cgi over all of it and run different ads it's fucked. crazy but sports is a lot of money in sports man not right now not any, well it's still <laughs> probably no it definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> soccer and baseball are yeah. crazy rich dude but i don't know if soccer they had to prorate their i know baseball they got like i'm pretty sure they lost a bunch of their salary i don't think hockey did it all i didn't hear anything about that mm. but you're in the playoffs they don't get paid in the playoffs anyway yeah yeah i wonder did, did do they get paid out for the games they didn't play like the last 20 games. I doubt it. Wait, so what was the hockey season? Like when everything went to quarantine, was it like they were about to go into playoffs? Yeah, there was like eight or nine games left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so, like right so now, they canceled those games. It was like eight or nine games left to determine who would be in playoffs. Mm-hmm. So basically right now, if they do the hub cities or whatever, they're going to do the playoffs and then the next season is just not going to start. See, that's the confusing thing. So yeah. so the confusing thing is that, like if they did everything as planned, so the plan is to start hockey pretty much at the end of the month. And it would go through I'm till stealing your TV. It would go through till <laughs> October. You have to steal from Andy. But then they haven't really said anything else. It's like, well, the new normally season, yeah. new season starts like October fifth. It'd be like a week of a break between them. So clearly that can't happen. Yeah. So do you do a month now and then you push everything back for a full year? Strange. I heard you know, somewhere I realized... that they're starting in January, but I'll take it for one. What they could easily do to make their money, do like the Big Brother thing for all the hockey players because they're all in one place. Mm-hmm. Do Big Brother cams. Do like you have to pay to get access. You can well, hockey see. players haven't got together yet, but that'd be sick. Yeah, but like if they did that, I'm sure you guys would probably. Want I don't know it. how the hell they're getting Austin out of Arizona. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how you're, you're extracting this <laughs> guy out of here. Lift. Like three yeah. stowaways in the cargo pit of the plane. It's like the freaking they have to call in the Canadian seals to fucking <laughs> yeah. pull this guy out of Arizona. I think Drew Arizona goes in. World War Z. Well, with I, his feet. I, I, yeah. Here, like, <laughs> updates on his COVID. He had COVID. He's fine. He did. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. From I, like take it for what it's worth, but I I heard from like headlines that apparently COVID affects people who are more health like more athletic than people who aren't. I don't, Which, I don't know so. how, I'm, I'm but they were, <laughs> the they're like, if you're like one off. of the higher end athletes, probably like Rob, where like you weightlift a lot, apparently it'll affect you. I don't know. I feel like they're just in contact with so many people. It's probably just like a causation. No, not, not like that you'll thing. get it more likely that it'll hurt you more. Oh, like I it'll, see. it'll affect your lungs more. I, well, maybe because a bunch of those first guys who got in the NBA every, like, except for the first two, there was a bunch who were just like, I didn't even know I had it. The only reason I found it is because I had to get tested. Mm. But, it's still um, so like fucked how that started though. Like the one guy was, oh, I have Corona, and started touching everything. Touching all the and then mics. Then he three quarters of his team and gets the entire season canceled. <laughs> it was yeah. Welcome to the fucking it, US again, of A. At, yeah. at the time, really funny. Yeah. A day later, not really, really funny. Really funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for us, but for him. Yeah. It's fucked up, dude. The states is fucked. Yeah. yeah. How, yeah. Wait, how many that, cases do you guys think they had today? Fifty k. Did you check? Or no, I'm just, just guessing. It's like yesterday, but yeah. I mean, it's got to be a boat. Man, I, I was taught, I've been having this conversation with my buddy. He's like, yeah, the, the only reason there's so many new cases is because they're testing way more. It's like, okay, they're testing way more. So that's that not even change the fact that they had 60,000 cases yesterday. <laughs> yeah. That's not even necessarily true. But also, yesterday was 46.7K. Nice. Okay, so the issue with the whole testing thing is that they're in the US, they're like, oh, we're testing more. That's why we have more cases. To get tested in the US, you have to one either show direct symptoms of COVID, 
or two, you have to have a link to someone who tested positive already. Hmm. So you can't Which just go be, get tested. That shouldn't be hard to find now. Yeah. <laughs> Here, like, we yeah. have a fucking drive through yeah. You can yeah. just go tested. stick we out your tongue multiple. and they'll test you. Yeah. Uh, the only so, like, thing they ask you, like, do you have symptoms? Yes, no, and then they, like, explain. They just drive on. They... Yeah, so, like, here we have testing way more available. It's not that they're testing more. They're just fucked. They're not doing anything. Yeah. Yeah, if know. they're testing more, it's because more people have symptoms. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. How many, wait, how many was it? 47.7. Nope. They're like, oh, it's going down. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. only 50. Yeah, and what did we have? <laughs> like, we had, like, 11? We had 200 yeah. in all but of like, Canada. In yeah, all, fair. Yeah. Um, so it, the U.S. like peaked at 40k the, around March, the and it was like very scary. slowly going down. It, and then, it, like you can boom. see, like it basically goes up, up, down, down, yeah. and down up, down. and then and that yeah, peak is like 57,000. Because <laughs> you see those videos, of people like on spring break in Florida and shit, just packed beaches. Oh, yeah. It's like, what the fuck are you? doing? I was seeing content creators who are going to those things. I was like, are you fucked, dude? So you just stay home. It's dude. a different lifestyle there, though. Like it's that. You know what I mean? Just no common sense. That's dumb. I, that's a well, dumb. Yeah, we think it's dumb. But. The, the the funny thing is, they're like, oh yeah, we're like, we're America, we're great, so sophisticated. They're twenty five percent of the world's cases, yeah. and then they're like, oh yeah, well, like we have so many people, it's so dense. It's like, dude, India has less cases. You you can't walk in India, and they have less cases. Like, <laughs> yeah. what do you mean you have a dense population? Yeah, their leadership also isn't doing them too many favors. Looking too deep into it. But yeah. dude, the Arizona yeah. governor. Yeah, that was one of my favorite things ever. Yeah. We don't believe in coronavirus yeah, here. It's pretty much like it's now the fucking it's hot it's, it's it's a hoax from the Democrats, yeah. <laughs> and they're fucked. Oh. Just look at the facts and like statistics. That should be yeah. enough for anyone to get scared. Well, so I'm always thing. curious about that with our community because I always assume like if you're part of my community on like YouTube or like on Twitch or anything, you're American. I feel, <laughs> I feel like you hear us talk shit so much that like yeah. at a certain point you just have to like kind of somewhat agree with us. Yeah. Because I feel like yeah. if you or didn't you agree with leave. us, yeah. you would just leave. You just wouldn't watch. But yeah. like I have so many people who come in and they're just like they're a hundred percent in that mindset, being like, no, like it's all well, a COVID. hoax, it's not real. I'm like, like at what point can, is it even possible for us to convince you otherwise, or yeah. are you just so deep rooted that it's just too late? Odds those people were from Texas. <laughs> one, one, and, one and one <laughs> one and one <laughs> I don't Man, know yeah I can't get over the whole mask thing like just put on a mask yeah mm -hmm. mask. did you see the video I don't know if I talked to you guys the target lady no in Toronto I did not see that the person I can't remember I didn't watch the with audio because I uh, had friends over but it was a lady a gracious host I think <laughs> pretty sure it was my <laughs> other friend group um, uh, it, I think it was a lady in the Toronto hospital who was recording the nurses because they were telling her to get out because mm -hmm. she was refusing to put on a mask and she oh, like she had broken her finger or something she's like i need service now like you have to help me i'm in pain like you can't turn me away and they're like you have to put on a mask go. Yeah. and she said no i'm not going to and then she was like recording them being like you guys are all going to get fired or something like that like i, 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 <laughs> I didn't hear it she got fired <laughs> i didn't hear it but like uh it's all the news. comments were quoting her for saying stuff like that and i was just like just Put it's on a not mask. Hard. Yeah. Karen. Like, then we have like you want them Karen. to help you help them. Like, and then we have people dude. like Shane's coworker that he was telling us about. Yeah. Dude, just put just on like, a mask. My coworker's like, I, I, I will literally die before I wear a mask. Dude, what's the point? And man? now our city passed that you have to yeah, wear a mask. Yeah, you're gonna wear a Monday. mask, bitch. Just put on a mask. <laughs> and we've been torturing. It's, it's them. not hard. Mm. But I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't then, know. There's as, there's Karens out there. And then you have that Florida thing. Which one? There's too many. The, the one Costco that you mentioned. One? No, the oh, the lady who was like at the God, town hall. Yeah, God, meeting. God gave me, God gave me this this mouth. God gave me this air. God didn't give me this mask, <laughs> so I'm not using it. It's like, <laughs> oh my God, Jesus. Fair, fair. You got a point, lady. You're good. Don't wear one. Oh, See you later. Just wear a mask, folks. There's too many sleep people out there, man. Yeah. Maybe this, this is, is also a, hilarious. Anyway. But, oh yeah, but. <laughs> But we've been hanging out and not seeing like we've people. like, like all, you're, things, all things honestly considered we I think we did good because there was a good what three month two month period I didn't even realize it'd been that long because we played games together so kind of like we game like every other night so yeah. it doesn't matter so all of a sudden the first time we saw each other was when we when I moved yeah which is last month yeah it was like and realistically okay yeah we jumped the gun maybe a week yeah a week later they opened everything up but 
Yeah, I thought we did a lot. It, you're right. When we moved that day, it was like talking to you and Rob. I was like, what the fuck? It's been actually yeah, like... Yeah, it's been a shit long two and time. A bit months. Mm-hmm. Even, even when we moved in, aside from like touching stuff to move it around, we still stayed more or less apart. I mean, Chris and I didn't no, matter. Definitely yeah. not. No, definitely not. Nah. A little bit. There's the only no reason way. you stayed apart is because you were here while we were all <laughs> over there moving. <laughs> That's kind of true. <laughs> As you say, me and Rob were no, pretty we were much really holding hands all day. Back yeah. to back in the truck. From um, and also, you didn't lift anything in. Besides the small things. I, well, neither did you. Just hit that's it. why he we had them. He brought it over. man. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. is like you didn't have to touch anyone because you were taking all the small yeah. things. They were taking the big yeah, things. Okay. Well, I don't know. It was like, I think we did okay, all yeah. things considered. But again, we pro- we jumped the gun by about a week. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, we I, I'm still we made it two and a half months. And on top yeah. of that, we're also not in an actual bad place. No. Like Our cases are one to two a day. Maybe like on the upper end, five. And for a while, they're all, all working from home. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you guys. At that point, yeah. we were all working from yeah, home. Yeah. Well, now, no, your wasn't. management, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a little different, but like the chances yeah. of us getting it is so incredibly slim that I, I don't. For don't now. jinx it. We shouldn't At jinx work, it. I wear a mask the whole time. Every time I go back in my office, like I peer out. Every time I leave, I peer out. I need to start. Well, the people, mask doesn't stop you from getting it. People, people in the comments. It stops me from giving it. People in the comments, tell me how I can wear a mask without my go- my glasses fogging up. Dude, yeah, that's, that's so fair. fucking annoying. Whenever I go out to like. I obviously keep yeah. it on, but like when I'm talking to people and I have my sunglasses on, it's just. But somebody, dude, somebody's me, it's got like to know. Right, like right down the middle, oh, it's like fogs yeah. it up. You, you cut a hole so you can breathe a bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah around the mouth. <laughs> is, is that our is that our is that our prompt for the comments? I would, I yeah. Well, no, we'll have a better comment than that. But that's just like a side thing because I'll scroll through. There's because yeah. there's got to be something I'm missing. One of the people at work, I know you can put like a, a piece of metal. But it didn't really. One of my masks has it there. It didn't really work well. If you get oh, because then it a little like, clamp, yeah. Yeah. But one of my coworkers said if you just like put a Kleenex kind of thing here, um, it just kind of blocks it so the air come goes like this. But I fuck if there's an easier way. <laughs> Shane's like I have a mask on running into a yeah. door. Yeah. <laughs> I have a couple that like go really high up my nose, so my glasses sit on them, so they're pushed down, so it's not as bad. But uh, I gotta sort this out in the next week. Yeah. Well, they're gonna let you know in the comments tomorrow. Yes. Let's go. Tomorrow. Yeah. This is going up tomorrow. Ooh. About to oh, edit it tonight. Quick, I guess tomorrow is Wednesday. Um, but <laughs> the prompt that we should ask is, did anyone do anything during quarantine? Yeah, let's, yeah. let's come up with like, I can't wait for all the Americans to come in and be like, I went to Disney World. Yeah, nothing <laughs> changed. We should ask them, did you pick up a new, right, a new hobby? Over. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, yeah. Did you learn anything new did, or did do you, anything new? Did you new? start doing anything new or did you just sit on your ass and eat ice cream like a waste of space? Yeah. Like, like, like us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to say we. I learned how to do origami. I started working out. I started, read, I started reading again. Yeah. I didn't read for a while. <laughs> what? What? No, no, not Quick, you. In the comment, laughing, which one do you believe more? Drew, Drew's just like, I did origami. <laughs> just like, <laughs> <laughs> trying to keep a straight face. I was like, I, I was making a roaster for, for reading. No. Well, I can't well, imagine you reading. But I can't read, so. I read The Hobbit. <laughs> you read the closed captions in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I did. In French. I did absolutely nothing me? different. No, me either. My, I was just my life was this guy working. Just, this my guy life just got more views. Except I couldn't, I couldn't visit friends, couldn't visit family, and couldn't go climb. So like my life just fucking sucked for two months. Yeah, I stayed in that house for like a month straight. Yeah, yeah same. When I first, I think first hit the fan. It was like, pretty I cool. Don't think I left my house for a month. It was pretty more. cool. Like game a bit more, but then again, like I, I don't think we gamed anymore. We gamed the same. Um, yeah, it's just more just availability because Drew yeah. wasn't like going to see Brie. Actually, he was going to see Brie every yeah. once in a while. But now this guy's got I, plans I every Brie night for like three months. His dad's Two fourth months. birthday this year Whatever. is still tomorrow, and yeah. <laughs> Drew's still taking that gamble every day when he goes to yeah. see Brie. 50-50. 50-50. 50-50, 50-50 50 50 50 50 50 baby with the coin. Luck's been in his favor for now, but yeah, yeah. who knows? That'll change quick. There should be one of those game shows where you flip a coin, heads or tails. Drew will go on there. Just fucking clean house. <laughs> tails, heads, tails, 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 heads, heads. You can, you can judge it by the flight path of the coin after a while. Just doing all the math in my head. Watch out, my leg's been shaking this whole time. I know, yeah, I know I've heard it for a lot of time. Yeah, you thought it was kind of, me. They're, they're, they're no, kind of moist definitely. Still, I've been bro. shaking in the air, can't hear it. I still got like some pretty gross like crotch rot from the, I'm wearing the same shorts I swam in. <laughs> yeah, thanks for tuning in this week. <laughs> we should probably end it there. I think we've been an hour it's, and a half. I'm yeah. going to really hope that it recorded everything. Yeah. Because I didn't do a surprised. test run, but jokes. I just pressed record and we're Th- That hope. would be so funny if it didn't work. I'd laugh so hard. Me too. <laughs> All right. What was our question? Oh, what'd you uh, do? What'd you learn? Yeah, what'd you learn? Did you do anything you new? Doing? Did you go to Disney World? <laughs> you do doing? have COVID. Have you been tested? That was a weird oh, yeah. experience. I got tested. What'd you was, do? Have you been negative. tested? Just mm-hmm. basically tell us what your quarantine was like. Yeah. yeah. Fill us in. And, uh, fun. and we're back. Yeah. We'll be back Weekly. next week. 
Everyone has been asking. Every we're Wednesday. Back. Yeah, freak off. Stop. <laughs> Stop asking. Don't DM me. Stop. <laughs> Although, like, we were, we basically have been hanging out for a month now. We could have started, but we wanted to wait for, like, the actual table to come in. By we. We. Uh, we. We. We wanted we. to wait. We really needed to wait for this very Pacific table to come in. <laughs> I just didn't want to have, like, five we had an different Atlantic setups table every week. Because, so. yeah, yeah, anyway. That's, that's it's whatever. It's a pretty nice setup. I dig it. Oh, I'm worth the wait. We're not fully fan. done. Still need that wall. Yeah. Send some biking Almost stuff done. everywhere. Yeah, but nope. Side side note. You were any, so any right ideas? too. Or whoever talked about like fingerprints on the table didn't take. Dude, I, I took my hands did. off because Look I at started this. leaving He's prints everywhere. He's got a everywhere. fucking circle. This <laughs> greasy Mine kid. Mine too. Well, it's just because I was yeah, like one this of the for most of it. Circles out farther. One mind. of the comments oh, in the shit. last Mine's one was like, "Man, Drew must be on drugs with all the times his like hand shaking." Nope. You're, you're, it's called still. ADD. Comment is you're not wrong. Dude, but my leg's been on some Drew shit today, though. I think it, it, the, I think it shook the entire time. It's been no, you've been shaking Drew for like 20 shit. minutes now. Oh. Uh, I was, I was it's hard to think, sit still for this long. Yeah, I'm not used to it. Because, mm -hmm. again, the pod was what the only time. I've been quarantined. Yeah, Should but like, used to it. like, I haven't just sat, sat at a table and just spoke for this long since Dude, I'm gonna, it started. I just have one bone to pick with Rob. Okay. Is that... He always talks about, like, when we play Siege together, especially during quarantine, we'd play, like, two matches, like, dude, I, I have to go. Like, he's like, I have to go do something else. I have to move. I have to go work out. And then I'd message him later. He's like, yeah, I just played uh, Madden for eight hours straight. <laughs> I don't have this year's Madden, but I do. I just don't play it. But you, okay, but you Warzone is an exception. I don't know it's what it is. There's no shit. exception. It's literally the exact same game. I'm using a controller. That's my excuse. My wrists feel it's like, more limber. You're moving less then. Well, it's just like Siege is stressful, man. No, but you, like, you... I, if you just tell, tell me right up front that you're like, I don't want to play Siege anymore, that's fine. But you're like, I have to move. I have to go do something. It's like, no. He didn't want to break your heart. Dude. Yeah. Just tell me. I like Siege. Drew like, ditches me every day. I, I genuinely enjoy Siege for like, about two hours per day. Like, this is my last game, Chris. He's like, why? What are you going to do? I'm like, ah, I'm just going to go play with Shane. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I can do Siege. I genuinely enjoy it for like two-ish hours. And then it starts, you know, you start to that's start dying to bullshit. That's and like, me, but my threshold's a lot smaller. Yeah. Actually, it's grown a lot. Shane I, gets two rounds and he's like, yeah, I'm done. Two, yeah, two, I'll, I'll he, he gets two legion, legion kill assists. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Even though I still have that problem with you, Rob, I will say what we talked about before, you've gotten a lot better. Two years ago, we never saw you. Okay, I was, Rob, I was wondering where that was going for you're, a second, but, um, Rob, you're now a great friend. I'll, I'll still never yeah. forget. He's in all the group chats again. Yeah, yeah. you're I'll a still, great friend. I'll still never I'm forget squall. the- Yeah, you made it. That was my birthday present. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll never forget the quote where you said, wouldn't you rather me ditch you at the last minute every time than just say no? <laughs> we're like, no. No, we're like, <laughs> just say no. <laughs> the fuck thing is, is, at the time that made sense to me. When I said <laughs> now it sounds just, no, oh, it's great. It didn't age well. No. But age like milk. Age like uh, cheddar cheese. Cheddar. Age like Rob's cheddar baby. Cheddar cheese is usually better. My baby, we don't aging, have a baby. Exactly. <laughs> Side note. That's Did not Imagine I cut, we came back. I was like, yeah, I have a few kids now. Like, damn. It's been, <laughs> it's it's more it's been a while. More aged it is. He found them. Drew. All right. Adopt them. <laughs> we so can I'm end it there. Cheese now. Yeah, cheese. Okay. So welcome back for the podcast. Peace Every out. week we'll be doing this again until Drew gets COVID. Yep. No, no, place yeah. your bets. Yeah, you flip your first. coin. Actually, wait, yeah, heads or tails. Also, place your bets. Who's gonna get COVID first? Whoa, not, not me. Which is actually what now they're doing. Now we're demonetized. Which is actually what they're doing in the U.S. They're having COVID. Parties. I've seen that. And so they're, and they're betting on fake. who gets sick first. I heard that. Was and it's in Alabama too. No, it was, it's got to be real. It has to be real. Yeah, <laughs> Alabama. I saw it on. I saw yeah, it on Barstool Sports. I, I, can, I, I believe either. Whoa, Barstool is it real? It's real. Yeah. It's real. Take it. Okay. Fox News. Okay, I gotta pee. That's it. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.